Oh my goodness, Gunkers. So much to get to, so little time. Today is Monday, March 27th, 2023. We are back on a Monday. We are so excited to be with you. I mean, the guys were just just pouring out with love for you and for the chat today. And we have a lot to get to, so we actually aren't going to do too much preamble today because not only do we have... a uh, you know, whenever there's a really bad show, it's really horrible, and I'm, I wind up cutting like 30 clips or so, 35 clips, but we also have the live television production of Howard and Beth on Stupidgram telling us, being the masters of the obvious, and telling us not to buy friggin' bunnies for Easter. So we have to get that to that as well, um, and I know that's going to take us some time. So thank you so much, you guys. I so appreciate you being quiet for all of one minute and 27 seconds whilst I do my preamble to the show. You know what, and, I, you know, you know what I was thinking about when you were saying that? that you yes, started the monologue off by going, so little time, something, something. All I could think of is, I hate men, so little time. <laughs> How can I lose? All your little fairy buddies probably play that when you're having your little parties on Friday night. Right, Monique? <laughs> I hate asshole. men. So I little time. Even the men sing it. <laughs> so I will tell you something about bunnies. Um, I went to a party the other night. You probably saw it on Instagram. And I went to this thing. It was like this fashion thing, which, you know, to the people down here, fashion is you know, not what I, not what I would consider <laughs> fashion. I was wearing like a black dress and combat boots. Um, and it was quite the look, I must tell you. And I stuck out like a sore thumb because I was very New York black. And so anyway, <laughs> so there's all these little kiosks, you know, that have like a little, a little taste of what the restaurant is. And there's this new restaurant, which is like this French, very fancy restaurant. And I go over to the to the table with my little dish. I'm like, ooh, you know. And he, they didn't tell me what it was, and I thought it was chicken. And then he pulls out he pulls out the he pulls out the truffle and grates truffle on top of it and puts a little microgreens. I'm like, not the truffle in the microgreens. What, what kind of and dish so, was it? And so I go back to the table, and you know, it's all a bunch of like hens, and uh. like you know, I just refuse to eat Bugs Bunny. I'm like. Oh, you know, and I'm like, you know, I'm digging in. I'm like, mm, who has bunny? She's like, you're eating the bunny. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not eating bunny. Don't tell me it's bunny. <laughs> Is that bunny? But it did kind of taste like chicken. But, you know, I was there for the truffle. And, of course, I made him put extra on it. So how could I not eat some of it? So, yeah, I, I, I ate a little bunny. Oh, it's delicious. I succulent? love. Mm. You can only say succulent for two things, duck and rabbit. Succulent. succulent. You know what word is Slow like roasted. succulent that I love? Unctious. Raised. Unctious. Oh is yes. A great word. Give me an unctious. Yes. Unctious. Yes. Unctious mm. means where something has like that umami kind of flavor <laughs> that you just go. Mm, is da unctious. Da David used Vanguard and Talisman yesterday during the uh, death. Nice. I can't stop thinking about it. Talisman. <laughs> Talisman. Nice. I'm gonna get you <laughs> Talisman right here. David. So I'm gonna let the um, wonderful, wonderful crew that I'm here with tonight uh, decide what clips that we should uh, play tonight. Um, please take note of Dennis's background tonight, which is fabulous. You can barely see. I thought the green was his green screen that was a little bit messed up, but no. that is that is nobody this other is than Beth, bit... the, Beth the Slow Adult and her uh, wonderful husband by a dumpster. Beautiful. And that's and that is, uh, this is a biz, <clears throat> Biznick original. Biznick, Biznick original. This I, I, I can never get the name in because I can't get it to shrink the right way kind of you know what but, tell him send him a pm when you say say it to him hey i'm going to use your your thing can you shrink it down just a snurch and snurch? Uh, or put his name somewhere on it but he does oh, but it's on the it's on the bottom over here uh-huh david wants you to right? not forget yeah. scofflaw scofflaw i ask him is it two f's in that scofflaw i want to nice. compliment biznick too for his scofflaw. television journalism on surely which is getting its props <laughs> five, years <laughs> five years later five years oily Ingratiatingly oh, flattering. Yes, Mr. D. <laughs> Unctious. Okay. Really, like Whitney Cummings. Oh, hey, Very Farmer Justin. Important. You know, I was looking at my 
banned people the other day and I didn't know why you were on there. And, you know, he's a friend of mine on Instagram and I realized a- that he wasn't on here with us. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here. Okay. All right. So let us this decide. He's a simple farmer. He's not that simple. I'm he's just, really I'm not that simple. <laughs> but he takes beautiful I'm, I'm photos. being what we call a gentleman. You? Who, Cause, you? Because Mo, Mo doesn't like me to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's nothing, nothing right. better than a Xavier Autobot, that's Autobot AI on. must be yeah. drugs. Okay, well. What about Autobot AI? What about he must him? be very lonely because he thinks Whitney Cummings is hot. Oh, no, um, she's not. No, she's oh, not. Bro. No, you, you, no, you need to get some. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not good. That's, that's not good at all. No. She's a York, Pennsylvania five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, Welter Skelter, that's Kirk Gibson. I'm trying to do like, I was trying to double entendre with uh, Costco and Kirk Gibson, but I just don't know how to do. That's Photoshop a good one, though. Kirkland. Put... Kirkland. Yeah, Gibson I was trying to works, make his jersey well. like uh, Costco, and I just don't know how to do that. Why didn't you tell me? Really? Because I, I, I thought of it like 10 seconds ago. Like, I just... Oh, well, there's that. <laughs> okay, so let us do a. Uh, let's have a little tete a about what we'd like to play tonight. Okay. <clears throat> so um, let me just do the intro, and then we can take it from there. Okay, so let's start from the beginning and work our way very much down into the gutter Let's where we that. ended the show. What is it not? Yeah. Hey, oh. I was right. Hey. I was Hi-oh. right. I thought you were dancing into your jacket when you got up to put yep. on your jacket. You were dancing into it. I was like, look oh. at him. He's dancing as he dressed. trying to uh, turn you on, give you a lap <laughs> dance. <laughs> Hey, Get I'm off the stage, Grandpa. Um, yeah, now time yeah. for an update from Wendy the Slow Adult. She is calling from Florida. Right into it. Do not pass go. Do not no, no. collect. That's what he's thinking about all weekend. Five days, and this is the thing uh, he know, needs to start right. with this. What's so funny is in the, and I can't remember who asked the question, but they, or they made the statement about the, the Great American Nightmare. You know, a 20-year-old song, they said, no, no, no. It's a. It's almost a twenty-six-year-old song now. Yeah, it's right. Still, ninety-four. Still right? Is not. Yeah. No. Nineteen ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. You know 97. what? I'd be curious. Does he get a writing credit on that? Um, yes. Yes, he okay. does. So he's he actually gets paid every time he plays that. Yep. Yes, and you know it's <clears> it's <throat> actually um, it's part of Groovin Are Rock. It's actually in the genre of Groovin Rock. Groovin. Yeah. I just realized that he gets paid every time that's played, and yes. probably the only place it's ever played is on his show. But does he get played per per Pay listen? Per pray? Oh, yes. let's think about no that scam for a second. So, um, how does Isn't that he work? Always exactly? in double and triple dip mode, Monique. Isn't that his neat, neat reflexive thing to do to every situation? Well, can we talk about dip? it? How does that work? Like when you play a song on a show like his. How does it work um, when you actually play something? No, it's true. Is it per it's listen? like uh, Danny Elfman in The Simpsons. The part where you hear The Simpsons, that's actually mm-hmm. Danny Elfman. He does that. He did it on purpose, so he gets paid every time that gets played. Per, yeah, because, per yes, family per, that per, hears it? No, no, no. Per it, every time the show airs. All right. So but what if a he, million people watch it versus five million people? Doesn't matter. I, I don't know. I don't know what the pay scale is. It's a great question. I just know. Yeah. He gets a he gets a cut of something every time it gets played. But right. you know, I'm just wondering if it's by person. Yes, Sirius, <clears throat> remember, Sirius charges you for the uh, paying of the um, artist, uh, the artist, and that he is one of the artists that is getting paid yep. for yeah. the music being played. Only he and won't it, allow his stuff to be played anywhere else. As no. a partner, you get to do that stuff. That's right. No. That's right. So no, you so know, never thought of, of it that way. Yeah, so, so it's been what yeah, twenty four years now of what? that song being played. No, twenty twenty ninety seven. He didn't yeah. start playing it when it's the like song came out. Yeah, it wasn't so his ish. opening song from the very beginning. So no, no, don't no, forget. But it, no. It was, but it was in ninety seven. He started playing it because yeah. he wanted it to be number one. He literally said that I want this to become a hit. Yeah, and that worked. Twenty something years later, it but, still isn't. Okay, this is a stupid question. So prior to that, the song that was played was. Give me more Howard Stern by that weird dude, broad. Dude, yes, well, that's that's immediately. Zeros. That was one did, of them, she, and then there was the get... Tilt a Whirl. Tilt a Whirl was one. Yeah. Yeah. Did she get a cut of anything while he was playing? It? No, no, because she probably signed it away to. Howard Stern. Yeah, she that, signed that it away to the show. And, and Tilt a Whirl is probably already public domain. 
Oh, no, no. D don't forget that when we started our show, we used to do Tilt a Whirl as part of our opening, and yeah. I would get a copyright thing yep. every single time. How? Such an idiot. I must yeah. use that too, Monique. Yeah. I swear to God, I must have the same opening. It was the exact same I mean, opening. I mean, Tilt a Whirl. I mean, Tilt a Whirl is ancient. It's so it doesn't stupid. matter. Monique, what should be what should be the opening of the show? What song? Which show? Howard opening? Show? Yeah, Howard how show? should it really Jesus. go? Oh, jeez. That's your, that's uh, your no, cue. No. No, no, oh, the opening, <laughs> the opening to Golden Girls. Oh, that. Uh, no, the opening to Golden Girls. Girls. <laughs> the only thing. Yeah, I want to. I want to feel sun, have barbecues. I want to see my friends, the old and new. That quick on the mark today. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wasn't, dude, even, it's okay. wasn't even paying attention to myself for Can a we moment. Suffer enough. Yeah, we do suffer. We do suffer. We suffer for our craft. This is the way it works. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's cut to 45 minutes of Wendy. Jesus. So Wendy, and you know, I know oh. you were very, it, you know, because you you burn bright and fade fast too. Let's be honest, you were very into the whole McRib thing and what was going on with the McRib and McRib. But you know what? Who gives a shit? Who, who gives me? a shit? What's going on with Wendy? Are you who are you talking to? You, oh, you're oh, you tag me in. You're like, oh, with the McRib. They don't even know about the McRib. No, they, they don't no know about clue. that. It, it of course, hilarious. they have no clue about the friggin' McRib. But, I'm actually shocked that John Hine wasn't in for like yeah. you know 15 minute segment about McRibs. To be honest with you, yeah, it's just McRib with no barbecue so, sauce. Man. Exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. But the part, the part with the McRib was was so weird is that that McRib thing happened months ago where they they canned it. it is that the fact? Because you know, I was talking to Xavier about bagels at McDonald's. He's like, "What the fuck are you talking about? I've never heard about bagels at McDonald's." Yeah, they, it's like five and minutes. Sure yeah. enough, the bagels so are back. But so who they knows? made a they made a big deal in the fall about the McRib, and then they pulled it. But <laughs> I I don't think it's been out this year. So I'm trying to figure out when that was recorded because that was not live. That was surely not live. What was I the mean, gist of the bit, Dennis? It was just to make there fun no of Wendy gist. going to McDonald's. <clears throat> there was no okay, gist. Okay, yeah. McRib is everybody's go-to punchline for McDonald's. And, even though out two months a year, maybe, they use it. And as Samantha showed up as as the Wendy, the slower adult, and she was Yeah, that was a really brilliant unfunny. name. That was really brilliant that they came up with that That was really unfunny. One. You're going to hell, Samantha, right after Shuli, exploiting mentally. Uh, yeah, the, but you know what? She's a yep. little bit of a wackadoodle, too. I mean, let's That's be okay. honest. She's, she's, she's still going to hell. She's the one that thinks that Sal Governale can actually talk to the yep. dead. So what are we talking about here? Uh, I, um, okay, so 45 minutes of Wendy, and then he plays this little horrible... Horrible little piece of, of Wendyism. Now listen to what Wendy says, and then listen to what Howard says back. Uh, uh -oh. Because I found I found this out from my mom a couple nights ago when she did her when she did her finances. Um, in about a month or sooner, we're going to be broke and we're going to be homeless again, living in the car. Oh dear. Well, I don't. I, I feel terrible about that, but it did make for some good radio. So please call us from the car. <laughs> we. That's okay, Wendy. I will, I will definitely do that, Howard. That's yeah, okay, Jesus. Wendy. Howard is the uh, carbon footprint of Galactus. He'll, he'll take you in. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so 45 minutes of Wendy today times how much a minute? $4,000 $4, a, a minute. He could basically um, Put support up her whole family Wendy and her entire went. family for a couple of years. Yep. And and For see real. the weird part was when Wendy went off the air, they had this gigantic bumper. I mean, it was minutes long. Well, you know what? I listened but for that, was, and the bumper. No, it really wasn't, Dennis. I listened to the bumper. They had a Wendy bumper, which was like a minute and a half or something like that. It's enough to. Start and then he's like, "Ah, what do I want to get to?" And blah 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 blah. I mean, listen, it was never green radio, so it was absolutely no. forty-five minutes of blather that could have happened any time of the year, date, anything. Exactly. Um, I just don't know if they cut into the new show after that. I'm not sure. I listened for it. I really, really did. Um, yeah. I just didn't know. It's just so very, better yet, very strange. Shuli will help out Wendy, right? Didn't she essentially get him a job for exploiting her and yeah, latching yeah, someone? Yeah, Shuli, yeah. Shuli will put you up, Wendy. He has room in that house. Howard blows you. No, Plenty definitely. of room. Plenty of room <laughs> with the two kids. <laughs> Plenty of room. So uh, after My question he's... is, yes, how me? is Wendy less successful than Emily Stern? I don't know. Not she's not. She's, she's not. not. She's not. <clears throat> no, Emily she's just Stern Emily without money. Never had a job. Yep. Uh, basically lives off her parents. I bet Beth. 
What's what's the difference between Wendy and Beth? Well, the reality is, is, is if you ask 250 people question. in the street who Emily Stern is and who Wendy the Retard is, pretty sure most people would know. More people would know who Wendy the Retard is. Yes. Not that most people, but more people would know who she I is. I mean, arguably, they're on the same fucking plane. As? As, as far as success in life. Uh, well, success is a relative term. That's a, that's a I agree really 100%. loaded question. I mean, honestly, I'm throwing question, Beth right. into the mix too. I mean, I, I agree. Is, isn't Emily 40 now? Yes. How old is Wendy? Yes. <clears throat> Wendy's uh, a little older than that. Probably. Yeah, about yeah, the, roughly, old. they probably could have gone to the same high school. I agree 100%. And so, Emily has done nothing with her fucking life. What has Beth nothing. done? Not one no. fucking thing. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. You know, yeah. it's like, you know, one of my first hmm. jobs ever was like, uh, I worked at a, I was like 14, 15. I worked at an elementary school, helped cleaning up. That that would re- that would be, if I had a resume versus Emily, Please. that would already trump her. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but she's, she's in school a, for the last 16 loser. years to become a rabbi, a sir. <laughs> yes, she has nothing well, to hey, hold on to. I, I, well, no, she I, has I, old hit songs. 10 bucks I'll get anybody who wants to argue that. Nobody wants to argue that, sweetheart. We're, you're preaching to the choir here. I'm with yeah. you. <laughs> I'm, I'm on painkillers. I don't know what I'm saying. We are the choir. <laughs> you are preaching. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, it's just so funny that Howard takes this sadistic <laughs> pleasure in exploiting someone who has a really low IQ. Yes. And just like him. And, it's, and it like really him. is. We're laughing at her, not with her. Shot so, but Freud it's just radio. so funny. He could save. Yep. He could, you know, it's kind of we're talking about the American Nightmare. He could keep, he can double dip by having Emily as being that filling in that role because she's as worthless as as, as uh, Wendy ever was. Yes, yes to all of that. But but I, I, but one but is you his daughter you know, who's I going to inherit back. ninety hundred million dollars, back. and I take it back because <clears throat> Wendy was never fooled into going topless on a, at a on a play by some from some producer, two bit producer. So, so, off, 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 know, off, 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 Broadway. Pond right there. Yeah, but, you know, is it any different than the Delabate boy being a DJ or the oh, other please, one being dude. a social worker? <laughs> or, yeah. you know. How, how'd that hot sauce work out, bros? Yeah, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> we don't know. Oh, come we on, the power know. of Stern. Yeah. They should have sold billions of them or five. <laughs> uh, what about it, too? Yeah, Emily, you are on the air. Okay, I, I swear to God, we got to move on. So, yeah, we got to move on. Um, we got to move on. So then right after Wendy, <laughs> though, he there, talks right. about how, you know, I was going to talk about this while Wendy was on the air, but then it didn't, you know, it didn't make sense to talk about my generator problems and while like, Wendy you know, was time. talking about her issues. And the, well, like everyone will go, well, it doesn't work, obviously. We'll have to have somebody come and, and fix it. I go, well, Apparently the power went out in Palm Beach. I don't know about any storms. I don't know what's going on in Palm Beach that okay. didn't happen on we this. We can side. all relate, right, guys? Everybody right. can all relate to but this. But apparently the power went out, and, you know, as anybody who, you know, lives in, in Pennsylvania knows, the generator kicks right in as soon as the um, power Supposed goes to. out. But I guess his generator must be, like, tremendous in order to kick in for oh. a 30,000-square-foot home. Think, think about that. Think about that. <clears throat> I mean, that... It would be the generator they have at the back of a Publix. Yes. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's yes. a, it's a cat diesel. It's a yes. cat diesel out there running. It still has a Home Depot sticker on it. Yes. So this is, okay, so listen to this. So listen. Well, it's kind of late because what happens is when the power goes out and then it comes back on, everything's fucked up. The air conditioning, the, the TV sets go out. Everything <laughs> is fucked up. And now i got to bring in what? 75 guys today just to get the house back to normal. 75 guys. How about right. Are you because kidding me? Who who here hasn't known the beauty of their power going out? Yeah, and knowing yeah, that pretty much things go off and then they come back Gotta on. Come back, right? And how 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 air conditioning? Really? How air much conditioning? Time, I can't figure that one out. How much time should that power have been off that he needs to get people in now to figure out? Because he doesn't know. He doesn't know how to log in to he's like his a, Netflix fucking, or his sorry, like. He's an but idiot, man. Even that shouldn't happen if the power goes out. Like your TV should remember all of absolutely. your passwords. Your well, absolutely air conditioner, air conditioner just pops back on. I mean, yeah, because even if you what have, century is this kid living in? I don't know. Even if you have smart, smart, um, I do. Thermostats, I, have, I have Nest air conditioning, they, a thermostat, two of them. And you they know, if, I, if something goes up, they they pop back up a few minutes later. Yes, yes, right. everybody knows this. 
but in the 30,000 square foot mansion, you know, I keep saying that. How big is that freaking house? 18,000 no, square feet. No, 18,000 square foot mansion. 18,000. <laughs> <laughs> what, what technology does he have in that gigantic oh, <laughs> see, white that's the That's the beauty of this. I really think that both of Howard's homes... You still have, have the like, Sony Trinitron. No, no, no. I think they've both aged out. Like, I think both homes have aged out now. Yeah. Seriously. You know, he did so much, so much bullshit to the house in the Hamptons. You know, I'm sure he went with like interior designers and picked this and picked that and, you know, just money is no object. And yeah, I need that 16th century bed and blah, blah, and, blah, blah, and blah. And by the time it's all done, it's antiquated. Absolutely. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if there's glass brick in that house. Yes. Let's be honest. I mean, oh, it's, dear just, God. it's just aged out. You see it like those bidets. Nobody has bidets anymore. <laughs> well, that is the sign of a house that was no, built or refinished, fancy, refinished fancy. in like the you know in 90s. the nineteen nineties. Nineties, so. yeah, that's not that's nineties shit. Do you think yeah. he has like a table made out of asbestos? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jeremy spoke. His generator is one hundred and twelve watts exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, what you, his his TV then it's, and 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 uh, thermostats probably got a seven instead of smart. It's a seventy nine IQ thermostat. He would <laughs> never <laughs> know how to use a smart. He would never know how oh, to I use know, a smart. Oh, I know. Boy, well, no, he would have to. He would ask AI to help him with it because you know AI can help him write notes too. Yes, so. of course. Yes, of course. Are you so talking it's about just practice? ridiculous to me. Um, <laughs> Sam V, what are you saying? Radio Gunk, did you see Shirley was on Vince the Lawyers? Yeah, we saw that. Back in the Habitat show. And I was talking, I don't, I, don't, I don't care. Okay. Um, okay, so then mm. he's talking Three about. I didn't, uh, I didn't really record any of this, but about Ahmet Zappa being on with Gary on the wrap up show. So, yeah. This this kind of like this really was so weird. Is that Ahmed, Ahmed Zappa is not good enough to be on the regular Howard Stern? Yeah, no, of course not. Funny. He's, he's... Literally, oh, he's a fan, so that's why you put him on the wrap up show. No, because you just didn't. Howard didn't want to talk to him, so There's you no just way. put him on the show. No one hears. Exactly. I... So of course <laughs> Howard then comes out with this little bon mot. But to me, he was one of the best looking men I've ever seen. Him and Rob Zombie, <sighs> two best looking guys I've ever seen. Now. <laughs> I'm speaking for, as, uh, from the point of view that I'm a heterosexual male. I like the way that <laughs> I would like to look like that. That, that is a good one. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, take a, let's take a look at <laughs> Frank Zappa in his heyday so that we can all gaze upon the beauty looking. that is uh, the most handsome man, according to... He looked just like Howard. What are you talking about? Yeah. You yes. must be anorexic and you must have robbed a hot topic in order to be good looking in his world. Oof, there he uh, is. There he is. Um, yep. Jesus projection. He, Sorry, ladies. Um, he's taken. You know what the funny thing is? He, is that you know what Frank Howard like? isn't as good looking as Frank Zappa. No, 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 no. you're right. But let's be honest. Frank looks like <laughs> looks like an unshaved pubic area. Frank Frank <laughs> Zappa looks like every like Jewish guy in the seventies. Who wanted to look tough? Hey, lived hey. like down in the village. No, not Frank that kind of not that kind of Jewy. Just like that. Although he's Italian, right, Frank Zappa? Yeah. So, <clears throat> unless it's Zappowitz and he dejuded himself. He's no, I think he's oh, geez. Okay. He got that Italian mustache. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's that's the guy. It looks like he has, Sasha Baron Cohen at times, doesn't it? He has Certain that look. angles. <sighs> yeah, I can see that. Oi. He looks Lynch. like a serial killer. Actually, honestly, he looks like a serial killer. Let's, let's yeah, be really I, you know, I'm never a Zappa fan. Got to be honest. I don't know anything about him. I'm not really I, big into his me. music. I don't know anything uh, about him at all. Valley girl. Um, she's a valley girl. I hate that, too. I hate that, oh, too. Died. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was born <laughs> Frank <laughs> Vincent Zappa. So he is. His mother was Italian. Navidad yeah. and Zizij. Um, with French, French ancestry and his father, whose name was anglicized to friends of his and Zappa, was an immigrant from Partinico near Palermo and was a oh, CG yeah. also. Oh, so See, there you go. They're your the people. Oh, They're your Jesus. people. He's my people. Yeah, he's your people. Christ. Yeah, Dennis, you wouldn't let this guy play bocce ball with you at two in the afternoon, would Absolutely you? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hose that guy's driveway down. So, um, so yeah, so after he talked about Frank Zappa and that for a little bit, um, <laughs> they talked about uh, visiting his neighbors because, you know, of course, he's obviously trying to get out of the house, 
trying really, really hard. And <laughs> this is his story about visiting the neighbors. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, maybe I won't wear the mask. And oh, then I debating. saw the... He was... It, yeah, I, I don't even care. At my neighbors, and I go... Uh, you guys uh, had COVID yet? Uh, well, now, by the way, the whole story sounds like bullshit to me because yeah. nobody talks like this to anybody. No, not to like at all. Um, he was talking about how he was going to visit his neighbors, and he actually went in their house, and he debated wearing the mask or not. Blah blah blah. All right. What's going on over there? <laughs> nope, we haven't had it. I go. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm sorry. Is... I'm sorry. I needed to start with this one first. Hang nice on. vocal fry. This weekend, Fairy. we had some people over. But they, they rapid tested before they came sure, on. Sure, sure, sure. Right. Did. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> but Christ. um You know what they do, you idiot? They keep a they keep a test in the glove compartment, like a positive test in the glove compartment so that they could show it to you at will. Nobody's nobody's rapid testing anymore. Okay. I think this is all horse crap. You just uh, listen, listen the whole thing is bullshit. The whole thing oh, listen. I, I went over to my neighbor's oh, house and um there were like three or four people there. <clears throat> And my wife said to me, maybe we should do this as a test run. Let's not wear our masks. And oh. I went, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh. know. I'm nervous. They weren't uh -huh. tested or you didn't know I don't anything know. Well, about. Well, when we walked over, I was just over there for about 20 minutes uh -huh. to say hello. But, um, like, I walked in and I said, all right, let me try this. I said, I said to one of the guys there, I said, well, you look like you have COVID. That's my subtle way. Of, sure you said that's that. exactly what I say. I said, you look sick. He goes, nope, haven't had COVID yet. I'm not sick. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just careful. So now we'll continue on. Now we continue on. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe I won't wear the mask. And then I saw the uh, my neighbors and I go, uh, you guys uh, had COVID yet? Uh, well, what's going on over there? And, nope, we haven't had it. I go, yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe you're sick. They go, no, listen, we're not sick. But you want to wear your mask? Go ahead. Oh, I, idiot. All right. Well, I tried it. I, I didn't wear the mask. Because I said, this is ridiculous. I got to, I got to, you know, it's not like we were on top and of each other. And you were outside. You know. You know. No, we yeah, were outside and we went in and then we went. Oh, then listen to, listen to Robin throwing in her two cents of, of uh, hypochondriasm. Intelligence. Yeah. And inside for about 20 minutes. Oh. So, oh yeah. Well, there's a brain man. Right. Because your first time you were... Maskless inside. All right, so yep. bring up the yep. picture I have Were on there screen. Open door. You're so cute. Do you not see it there already? <laughs> oh, right, damn it. There's a windows or no in that. I stuck my head interior. out the window. Sure, sure, uh, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. So okay. there you go. First so time. first time without a mask, except when it's Jennifer Aniston and John Hammond. It's different. Yeah, because but famous you know people what? don't it's get sick. Old. But they it's all the time, never. though. He just lies. I mean, it's and, just, it's and the lies. Seinfelds and Neil Patrick Harris. That's the only yeah, thing, the two times we've seen him without a mask. COVID thing where he was a grift. That's all it is, man. God, he's trying to stay out he's of that studio. He's a lazy bastard that never wants to do a day's work ever again. Nope. Show some is. energy in the enunciation, you anemic asswipe. God damn it. Try to listen to this on the driving. You'd fall asleep at the effing wheel. No questions asked. How effing... All right, Judy Tanuna, right? This is your conversation start. Yeah, Yo, you guys still have COVID? That's your, comp that's your repartee That's for everyone. It is. It's into. his repartee. He's, you know, he's, a, he's a wordsmith. Look at David. Yeah. You're so, know, perfectly, right? so perfectly written. Imagine a billionaire asking his audience to applaud him for his baby steps with a disease we all came to terms with emotionally two and a half years ago. <laughs> I'm going to clip that right now. <laughs> Bastard, that's really brilliant. Clipping are you going to put that on the Twitter? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on the Twitter machine. <laughs> you do the Twitter machine with it. Yeah, where people like Bon Jovi will have a blue check mark. You <laughs> what? <laughs> what a waste of five bucks. You heard. You heard. You heard. He could be spending that eight dollars on Disney Plus, but no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So wait, he has to do that in Australian money, isn't it? Like forty dollars US. Oh yeah, Bon Jovi. Why don't you pop in here and let us know how much that cost you in in Aussie That's dollars? Because it's like all weird down there. You know, actually, I saw a weird infograph. They pay the most for bottled water as anywhere in the world. Really? Why is that? I don't know. It's Australia. Maybe because going to water can kill you. I don't know. We have allergy no, of crocodiles that's... and snakes. Yes. yes well, we have crocodiles, crocodiles and snakes. <laughs> yeah, but our water is like under a dollar a liter. Yeah, but it stinks <laughs> like shit. Do you ever like, uh, you know, well, you water on water? Oh, I'm going to work with uh, Stark Enterprises, system. Dennis, to drop a huge Brita filter by Australia so they don't have to pay for bottled water ever again. 
<laughs> you know the reality is almost everything except for bottled water and stuff like that has to be imported. You know, you forget yeah. they don't have the commerce to manufacture everything themselves. It's a, it's you know? a continent. You know that they. I know it's a continent, water. but it's still <laughs> like a it's still an island. Import oxygen. It's you know continent. that? What'd you say, Xavier? They have to import air. Oxygen. Yes, yes they do. Yes they do. Don't they love when don't you love when they give yes. that stir in the water in case right. the hydrogen and oxygen <laughs> molecules haven't completely bonded yet. Right. So I don't know if you guys are aware of the fact no, that not. Howard you are. Howard and Beth went live on, on they what? um they went live what? on what did they call it? They went live on um the Insta uh, face. Insta the, no, I know they went on Instagram, but they, he called it something. Well, hold on. Let me, let me play it. Broadcasting. Come... He was broadcasting. We were broadcasting. Right, right, right. <laughs> broadcasting because he's on TV. Yes, here we go. Beth says to me, turn on the camera. We'll go live on Instagram yesterday. Now have listen Instagram to Instagram live. It's so cute. It's, it's, it's so cute when a 70-year-old talks about Instagram. It really is. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute and adorable uh, when Grandpa talks about Instagram. Here we go. You can broadcast yes. to people. You know, it's right. pretty remarkable. Wow, no I mean, it's crazy. You could sit in your house with a camera, your iPhone, and broadcast and? to people oh, it's just that's nuts. been going right on for a while Howard. no i know i know i've done i don't like doing instagram live because if you'd say one fucking stupid thing or you just uh, you know or accidentally you know uh teddy pops out oh yeah that's what, i mean you don't yeah, know sure. what could happen so i said to beth I, but I want to get laid, so I, I do whatever she says. You want to go live on Instagram? <laughs> so we went live with Pugsley and Wednesday. And it was miraculous. How so about this, easy. Monique? Maybe the, t the two of you have no charisma at all whatsoever. And yeah. everybody just hates your guts all the time and want to say so shitty things to you because you're so hateable. How about that? How about oh. it's not haters? You are just so – you have no charisma coin, anymore. How about that? To, to coin arms phrase – you know, them with Instagram is like very cold Chinese food. Because, <laughs> it really I mean, is. It, it's been a thing like for like half a decade. <laughs> it's it's really it's really sad. So a couple of people who were on our uh, feed yesterday got in with some like choice little tidbits of, of commentary. Puppet. Whilst he no somebody else somebody yeah, I didn't even know Gary who Puppet he was. It wasn't name. Puppet because Puppet it, had no, a few. <laughs> no, it was somebody else who there. who had yeah, some delicious live feed. Hmm. Puppet was incognito. Yeah. Oh, this is true. He, he was he was dropping some some bombs. So on so this he is forty minutes know, long. Uh, Ralph, you know what taste? Oh, this is forty minutes long. We're not going to listen to the whole thing, obviously, Good. but we're just going to go Thank through Christ. it with like some select <laughs> little parts of his live broadcast. Which I think at one point had eighteen hundred people uh, viewing yeah, it, and then it went down to like sixteen hundred. And then it went back up for like uh, half a minute. Sue monster because even half of his arm is gross. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> look at the, but look at it. Look at so I know. It's, it's disgusting. It All right, too. let's play a little bit and we'll hear it. Okay. Hi, everybody. I know we were going to do a Jessica Who's Rabbit. Who's everybody? Nobody even knows you're on. Well, not yet, but I can save it so then people will, will be okay. everybody eventually. Um, I don't like these live events because... Um, I, will, I will not get your what face What if you in say it. something... No, no, forget my because face. What if you say something stupid? It's there forever. I think people... Look at that arm. Just, just, just... Oh. Just look at that arm. What a Finocchio. I mean, that's... And I can post this, so. So can I tell everyone what yeah, we're doing? Yeah, we're, we're this done. This yeah. is Pugsley. You know, everybody's so right. We should really just do this as a separate show. We will. Because I really do want to stop it every uh, two seconds. It's 40 minutes it. long. We it's can't so get through bad. that. You're right. Have this you ever seen the Nike insignia look worse on anybody? I want to no. change the, the gay uh, flag to the Nike insignia now <laughs> because Howard's wearing it. No, God you damn. guys... You guys, I, you are 1,000% correct. This needs to be its own thing. So yeah, what does. we're going to do for tonight is we're just, just going to do a quick scan of it so that you can see everything that went on. So these are the two cats that I, she allegedly picked up from the Petco. I, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah. Boynton I seen, yes. I've seen more muscle tone on corpses. I mean, yeah, look at that. That is, that's like that Granny from uh, the, Beverly Hillbillies. Yes. What are you looking at? My shoe? 
This is all you're going to get in this house, right, Monique? Imus. What's up? All you get Imus. is the, you know what it is? It's Meridian filming. So yeah. everything from here Meridian. on Prime down Meridian. is what, what you I, get to see. the Tropic of Capricorn over here? <laughs> <laughs> There's no lifting of the phone. No. There's no looking around. Everything is like at floor it's level. It's portrait. Level. And it's in portrait. Oh. Honey, of it's course about it's the important. cats, not your... Oh, okay. Well, here you well, well to be fair, reason. portrait is how you do Instagram Live. Right All right, well, terrible. here you go. Beth, I, yes, I hate to break the news is, to you, uh, This is what's happening. And I hate you both, you but there is no the cats? cats if it's not for Howard. That's right. I want these guys. I swear I would take them. Honey, from... and affectionate. They don't, uh, uh, they like me, but they don't, they deserve more than us. Than yeah, they do. Did. Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they're, they're really they're... two of the best. Um, what are, does anybody what a great think? Bang a clock. Honey, people are saying things that I like. You know what? Man, those, I thought that those... this was about the cats today. Jeez. No, wait, wait. Two, this tube socks with nickels. Well, are we going to go now? Top. No, let it? me answer some questions. Let's see. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Gamma Man, how is Danny Manning triceps? Do they have any issues with older cats is what I'm <laughs> so good. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is just... Girl. Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> Chance Rescue. Rebel Rebel. Part. So I get to, to sit and hang with. I'm not exactly sure right, that the. Maybe we'll save that for another day. The, well, the, we could go over there and I, do it. Should we just do it? Because I really want to. Do you want to bring about... her in here, or do you want? No, she, that's her comfort zone over there. I think that's the way oh, to it do come it. Come the wabbit. Yeah, my wabbit has a comfort zone. Um, I could. I could walk over there, I and think... we could. Okay, go ahead. Go walk over there. Go ahead. Walk. Walk with the Your phone. Passed away. Hanging like it's like. Well, I got a pair for you if you're the right adopter. But they ain't going to just yeah, anybody. Let's, let's, let's do the floor. I got too much let's love for the these floor. guys. It's all about the floor. All right, Pugsley. Holy shit. Can't see, can't see the pool. Can't right. see now, the furniture. Let's just go see is, the floor. We're Look looking at, at the floor. Oh, this is Miss Petunia. Look at Most what a shit show of no fucking Petunia. animals is going on there. I'll come down here and hang with her, too. Okay. Yes, go down there. No pool. Very, very cool. Don't want to see that. Where would you like? Over there? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, hey, Jessica. Are you okay sitting on the ground? Or do you want to sit on that? Why can't I sit on this? Sit yeah, I can't sit on the ground. I can look. I can look. I can bend. There she is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The, now, can no, I zoom in with this? No, that's yeah, that. Her, that's the done. laundry room slash kitchen. You know. Yeah. I feel like she's in the dark over here. Is it dark? Okay. So this is where you go into the. This is I believe. His yeah, hand. because it's a very important conversation about uh, you shouldn't buy bunnies on Easter or baby chicks. This is not something you should do. And then she goes into a whole story about when she was a little girl, they got a bunch of chicks and they only had them for a few days and then they gave them to a farm. And it's like, oh, sweetheart, you have no idea that your father literally just like flushed them down the fucking toilet without <laughs> you knowing. You know, your chicks did not go to a Wait, farm. Wait, you think Felon Bob didn't give them to a farm? <laughs> Felon Bob did she not. She was... People just dumped Somebody her. was dumping her right on the side yeah, of the road. Somebody dumped her, and that's happening very often. And you know what? what? Eagles and hawks need food too. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> that's all I can say. And then you know that's the way they always say that right they, they f like bunnies because you yeah. know what? Bunnies have lots of babies. They really, really do. They so, like that. yeah, exactly. They die a lot. Baby gap. <laughs> that baby gap joke you made is the greatest exactly. joke Exactly. <laughs> on West they, 67th they make... in Columbus. <laughs> Let okay. me just say that if you get a rabbit and it's not for you, look at the fat bastard. Look at him. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at him. He's like, I want to eat ya. He's a unit, by mom? the way. Look at that that Chanka is a unit. Man. I want to eat that you. That, that, beast, that's right, Chaka Khan. And you made fun of Jeff the Drunk's periscope? <laughs> get. <laughs> that cat's just going, get in my belly. Uh, hey, all right, guys, you're not going to get audited. You proved to the IRS as a paper trail that you're doing animal stuff. We got it. Don't audit <laughs> you because that's all this is for. Yeah. Fine for the rabbit. If you just release him or her outside, they cannot survive. Yes, they can. Outside. They're rabbits. They just, yeah. it's just e either like, can Howard. Say goodbye Beth. and then they'll, they, I don't think they'll die. They'll survive a whole night. So. By the way, um, that shirt is hanging on her like horribly. Very long commitment. Her chest the looks like it's like two to, seconds what, from her belly button. Years, <laughs> it is, unfortunately. Longer. Has anybody known a rabbit young, to actually so live ten years? Like no. No. Uh, no. 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 They can live up to fifteen years, uh, though, they, especially if you have. Yeah, okay. This is, over your back. This is yeah. the yeah. rabbit's yeah. whole. Yeah. Like this is the rabbit's area, by the way. This is her huge area for the bunny. Hmm. Does she know she's looking at taxidermy when she's looking at 10-year-olds? No. Her. 
There's also a vaccination. They need to be vac- vaccinated. And oh, look, she's reading her notes. yearly thing, and that's $250 each Don't time you take them. No, it's not. The food right, is that? Is it $250 to vaccinate $250 your bunny? To, no. To inoculate a rabbit? Really? Where she no, goes, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> not in my world. <laughs> Where they rip her off. Yeah, they, they go to the right. Nobu of inoculation. They, 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 you know, they see her you coming know. and they just like they just right. flip the Rolodex. To the <laughs> yeah. Wait, so she's going through the costs. You know, we really need to come back to this yeah, because know, she's because going through all the costs. Of how much it costs to keep a bunny. So wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Look at her face. It's like Kermit Munster right there. So, so Monica, does, does she have love, <laughs> laugh, love pillows? Oh, she so does. Fine. She does. Didn't you see? It's, didn't you see yeah, the, the mat? That's the mat on the floor bitch has one on one. Basic she, bitch. And everything she does is fake, fake that laugh, is, fake live, you know, fake love. Near them. This whole room has been bunny proofed. It's a whole bunny, bunny proof room. So, it's important Except for the cat that's trying to kill it. With toys. Stimulate them with toys. With. You see this hutch here? This is just not for hutch her to hair. be inside. Show this, honey. This is not for her to be locked in. It's for her playtime. She runs around. She goes. Jesus, the money they spend on she stupidity. Ah, uh, damn it. That's a-hole. why the terrorists. And you know what? And, and that's going to be better than what Wendy has in a month. So. Yeah, that, that's, more, that's more than the Roosevelt uh, Elementary School playground. The stuff they have in that jungle gym. I literally ate that bitch with some shaved truffles and microgreens. Oh my god! Like I'm so jealous. I'm so I really jealous. I really did. And Caniglia and, was so good. Uh, oh my god! Look at like yeah. So so just remember, it's really expensive to keep a bunny. Cause look what I do for my bunny. <laughs> Live, love, laugh. <laughs> laugh with my bunny. Think if someone were to abandon an owl in front of her house, she'd be stupid enough to put it in the same room. <laughs> A hawk. <laughs> a hawk. I guarantee you she would. She's an idiot. We call it frapping, bunny no, fraps be, around. This must, must be incredible. my lucky day. So if you want further information, I highly suggest um, visiting that site. Um, Even you ha- talk about, um, you know, like when you get carrots and beautiful. you have to just like give a little tiny bit, like you got to be really careful with their it's diet. It's ration. Oh, you did? All right. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and they can live to, uh, to 15 years. They could, but I doubt it. Yeah, Let's do 50. Let's do Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Shane. You, you Woo. have to take them to a specialty vet. It's very expensive. No, it's it really expensive to keep a bunny. When does Fat Cat go on the, on the attack? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. If you go to that thread, you can just pull the gym Nah, I can't do that right now. Cats okay, need okay. their litter boxes cleaned all the time and fed and loved and, and cared going, for. My God, Thank you, Shane. So giving a pet is a gift is a big, big no Think about how stupid Beth's getting. She spends all her time around these animals and Howard. Look at Tone Cut. The rabbit had a nicer living condition than... Southern John Genji and Grill. Somebody wrote it's a 15 year commitment, not a present. Yes, that's that's a good one. It's a plan. It was well thought out. Our great insurance, health insurance. Um, look, she's, she's. What's she doing? Biting my rug. But this is a rug for her. So she's oh, so we buy a rug for the. For, the, you know, for president and make that my platform. Products, look at that. That cat so has his eye on that bunny. You're mine. Leave me alone. Leg. Uh, yeah. There's the gimp. The, what a dick. Coco Melon had a lot of trauma, but she's got a yeah. Coco Melon, the two thousand dollar cat, had trauma. You don't think it was born with this defect? The damn thing's leg off. She's been talking about ke- yeah, taking its leg off. Why? I don't know. Because it's dragging it. Do? Is that a bad Did thing? Did it have to like no? It isn't. Spring buck to eat. What can't they? Yeah. Attitude. Does this leg make Coco Melon look fat? About if I should... We have to figure out about that leg. Look, look at the cat still looking at that rabbit. <laughs> oh, the cat, the cat the is cat so laser focused on that rabbit. That look at Jeremy Dang. Harrelson's hashtags. Uh, they, you know, <laughs> they just. I like lately everybody's moving. <laughs> and my new place Basic there. Yeah, yeah, that's the latest. Ex- As she gets older. Blah, 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 blah. That brutal. cat's like. Rebel, rebel. Beth really, and I can't take credit for this. Beth. Oh, I would love to take credit for this. You never walk by a litter box in our house that has anything in it. She scoops it out as soon as something goes down. She's I know not everyone can do that. But, um, taking their you know, shit. you clean your litter box once or twice a day. There's no smell. There's no smell in our house, and we have yeah, at, okay. at any time. Sometimes we have as many as 19 cats here. I don't know. Um, you know, never use the screwdriver hands. Talk about not changing a litter box. Yeah. 
What a surprise. Yeah, they have, I oh, think, here we seven go. Here, here, cats. Here's where the cat so that's, yeah, takes here a spike. Oh, you know them? That's Amazing really Raisin. Oh, that's Amazing Raisin? I don't know their name. They have, they have Helen Rose's brother. Oh, Thursday. Amazing Raisin's He's getting a great annoyed. cat. He's getting annoyed with that big mitt. The whole crew. That yeah, look at the tip. Yeah, exactly. Eloise, Eloise. Oh, that, that's their Eloise name? That's Amazing Raisin? I, I follow them, actually. I'm going to cut I should have known that. Well, Stop. I get confused. But it is unbelievable stuff. how that camera doesn't reach oh, that level. Oh, right. no. Okay, got it. Anyways. It's the one thing he knows how to do is don't show If you can change a baby's face. diaper multiple times a day, you can change a cat's litter. Oh, it's so do easy. you use clumping litter? <laughs> this is the conversation. Wow. <laughs> Estimated. You got a deal. Here's our credit card numbers. Do what you want with it. Take it. Take everything. You got it. Yeah, for the babies. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Monique, we love your show. <laughs> litter boxes for the bunnies. I I put this little that white foam. Where's the attack? Another mm. fun fact that um, there's a so trainer looks or like a skeleton. No, it's the doing the cat to the left. Is, um, That's when you have. Dorit at North Shore Animal League America, who is my. First, they made like a little trail to me. Look then she him. had to come oh. closer to me to get a treat. <laughs> closer, closer. And then finally, I kept in my hand. And she had to come up to me. And it was several months. And I, sometimes <laughs> I'd have to sit for like an hour that and a fat half. bastard. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Where is Cocomelon? Cocomelon is back there. Sitting, she's sitting in a little... Cat I'm surprised bed. you didn't package um, this as an actual yeah. show oh, for during the week. What'd you do? I touched her foot. And, oh, 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 there I, we go. What happened? I touched. Did you get that? I no. You, yeah, good. Did you get I that? I touched her foot. Yeah. And she got cat. upset with me, and she swatted. Who, Miss Petunia? She swatted at um, Miss Jessica. Petunia. Jessica was fine. Oh, they have no lives. This is this is wow. This is paint drying. So he named the cat. She named the cat after Jessica Seinfeld. Is that yeah. what yes. I'm to assume? Oh, yes. no, Jessica rabbit. rabbit. Jessica oh, okay. rabbit. I thought it was a double rabbit. entendre. You know it all makes sense. Yeah. Basic bitch. Jessica Hahn. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> so let's We should wow. tell Jessica Hahn that X on Twitter. <laughs> exactly. They totally buy it. She's really? I thought person. I was on the outs. So then we get into a whole Beth thing. There's a whole Beth thing that goes on oh, because she comes so downstairs bad. and she, she, I don't even know what this clip is. Let me just play it. So I can't we, wait to see we what did they a whole Instagram house. live for like a half hour. Thank God, you know. Beth's titty didn't pop out. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but afterwards, Beth is so in love with me. She's like, you know, thank you for doing that. She's so appreciative that I'm the cameraman and involved. Yeah, because you're such, it's so big of you to take a half hour out of your incredibly busy, <laughs> you know, four-day four weekend to and do... 12 hours of transsexual TV on... Exactly, uh, to do anything. Cable. To do anything for them. Okay, so he went into now cock withdrawal. Yes, so now we start to find out that Beth is having some issues, and uh -oh. Beth is uh, she's having some struggles. Well, so well, she walks in. Yes. Be before that, Beth, he was talking about you know banging a clock, which we all know doesn't happen because Mr. Prostate, um, well, you know, it's swollen. <laughs> And so he's like, well, I didn't have sex with her. Well, of course you didn't because your prostate's the size of a friggin' softball. <laughs> so <laughs> exactly. ain't nothing happened in there, dude. We know that. <laughs> we all know that. We all know that. It's, all know it's that, hard dude. for a tit to pop out when it's swinging around or a pantyhose. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if the shirt popped up, if the shirt popped up, it would probably bump. pop out. <laughs> good, good one. Go on. <laughs> That's I a good one. Okay, so socks let's listen tube. to let's listen to see what's going on with Beth. And anybody out there who's like a make believe doctor, by all means, like throw your two cents in on this. So here we go. Doctor Agus, what are you doing? I don't know. I just I'm so. Oh my God, Beth! Oh, Beth no. beat herself up the other day. She had a big welt on her head. <laughs> what? I what? had an accident. <laughs> she went over to the. She went. She was doing um, exercise. She's sitting on the ground doing exercise. Uh huh. And. She took yeah. This this whole story also makes no sense. Of her her top. The the my sports bra. She took her sports bra. The sport the sports bra got caught in the door, and she pulled it, and the door hit her in the head. <laughs> oh no! Huh? How? I got nothing. Is How she do doing pull? Three's Company Chrissy Snow Pratt Falls now on purpose? Oh, the Beth wait, wait, wait until you hear the Beth Strionics oh. is classic in this uh, this is oh, it's wait, gonna wait, be wait. the best i, I can't I wait for you to listen out. to it 
it, it actually tripped it tripped over one of its boobs because once it took the sports bra off, they went down, down to the floor. <laughs> 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 <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's move on. So she's having some um struggles. Here we go. You later. If Thank you. Really? Schedule allows. All right. Well, I'm not gonna jerk off for sure. I'm gonna save uh, that for yeah. you. Save it. Yeah. Um so my question is dessert or no dessert? Should we have I'm struggling. Oh, my God. No Beth, answer. I'm going to answer, but i got to tell Robin what you're talking about. So set up bit because there's no need for her to go into the sugar dessert issue no. with Howard it, when her whole reason for being there was to talk about the Instagram and, yes. you know, the, the As if food. a personal chef's not handling that. No, yes. no, of course. Doesn't have yes. this completely well, She might have down. to go buy cookies, so you just don't know. So let's listen. So Beth. I've been uh, thinking uh, about it all morning. I'm obsessed. Beth's got a real problem. What? I've told oh. you she's a sugar addict. When I say a sugar addict, I don't mean like like it, it it gets out of control. When I met her, all she ate was gummy bears, Lucky Charms, anything with sugar, crazy. And she was going nuts again. I I caught her sneaking uh what yeah. did you do you know that it gets to that point when i start doing it behind your back yeah you were hiding candies yeah. and gummies oh. and stuff so and i'm ordering on amazon and big boxes are coming of, of everything candy. yeah so she oh okay so it's out of control with it right and, <laughs> and the reason it's out of control is that the doctor said to her listen you're pre pre-diabetic which i'm not sure that there's such thing as a pre-diabetic or a pre-pre-diabetic pre -pre. only on this show Pre-promote, pre Gary. Yeah, pre-pre. Pre right, pre um, right. Technically, a pre-diabetic is doctor speak to that you're you're taking too much sugar in, and you're going to screw up your whole system by overloading it with that much sugar. But literally, it's just doctor speak, and it's a partially way to get you. On it's medication. a little wake up call. It's a little yeah, wake yeah. up call for you to like but, you know do yeah. things a little only, bit better for yourself. I, I truly, I, I, as I said in the chat, the only sugar it's doing is booger sugar. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> no, I think that, I think I she definitely has. Sugar. I think she definitely has an addiction oh, yeah. problem. Well, with sugar. Yeah, well, yeah, anorexics too. love to eat junk food, right? Because it yeah. spoils their appetite. So they don't have to eat real food. Well, it's part of the well, but it's her. It's it's her. It's her crutch. For yeah. you know, keeping up this manic, pseudo manic pace that she does, and we find out that you know her mother is the exact same way. So let's hear it. I don't yeah. even know what that means, mm. but evidently her blood level. They we did a blood test, and her sugar was not. So the other day, how many we're blood tests do they the have? House. Always. Every She's scarfing down. What were you eating? Peeps. With? Peeps. You know what she, peeps are? They're marshmallow <laughs> dipped little... in. No, nobody knows what peeps are, Beth. No, not clue. Nobody peeps has existed during Easter. <laughs> I had no idea these things existed. Um, of course she's going to explain it to you. Hang on. Water yes. dipped in sugar yeah. and then yeah. um, so dyed pink. She goes, yellow. honey, all I can do is think about peeps. She goes, yellow. honey, all I can do she's is think about idiot. peeps. All I'm doing is thinking about peeps. And I ate she, two boxes of them in one sitting. In one two sitting, she ate two boxes, boxes of peeps. Well, but this, this is all little, of a sudden. There's a tinge in her voice. She's humble bragging. Like you could, she's yeah. proud of this. And it's oh, not yeah. this. It's this beyond anything. She's she wants. She's kind of humble bragging here. Like look how this, skinny look, look I am, and look what I skinny eat. I am. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. All right. Let's continue. Look at my metabolism. She goes, honey. I think I'm going to pass out. She started getting woozy. Woozy. Oh, like you said, you very be, ill. Yeah, she got very ill from, from peeps. peeps. Because <laughs> uh, she she like OD'd on him. I never saw her like this. Well, you didn't. You don't know that before that I had the bag of popcorn. That's the peanut butter um, caramel coated popcorn from um, Crater Joe's. Yeah, and she doesn't eat anything but sugar. It's like so proud of themselves. So proud of the diet. So yep. proud of the diet. Absolutely. So, so then she admits this to us. <laughs> this is great. Her mom visits us. They go shopping, and her mom is 81 years old, and she can eat sugar day and night. She eats, ah. like, she'll have, like, a Danish for breakfast. Donut, Danish, or a muffin every morning. Yeah. That's not sugar. So Beth thinks genetically she can do the same thing as her mother and just keep eating sugar all day. Well, donuts are sugar. So now she's yeah, been ODing and going crazy with the sugar, so... And now. when my mom visits, we go to Sam's Club, and we go to the bakery, and we... Sam's Club? Get all the cupcakes and cookies and M and M Rice Krispie treats, everything. Oh my! So I said to Beth, "You got to you. You're a strong person. You got to get off all. <laughs> you got to 
all go sweets. Go cold turkey again for a while. You got to go cold turkey. She goes, I don't think I can do it. I- so this is the ongoing conversation while <clears throat> Beth is in studio that she can't, she can't not eat sweets. Um, it got, well, it gets I, so bad. You'll hear in another clip I mean, or two. Go ahead. But yeah, you know, there was in the chat, uh, Zerky, Zerky 80, was it Zerky 82? That, uh, 842. She's 50 and sounds 15. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 50 yeah, year it, old it, speaking. It, it, it is. It is. Modern a, people, it's but... still a little girl. I mean, it just can't. Yeah, the it, it, laundry room, I was thinking the same thing. Sam's Club got me to, had me at Sam's Club. That's actually, that's essentially, you went to Walmart because Sam's Club is a subsidiary yep. of Walmart. So they just say they went to Walmart. If you live in the Palm Beach area, please go to Sam's Club and stalk them. And Where just the hell is there a Sam's Club up. in Palm Beach? I, it ain't, there ain't one in the Hamptons. So it's it's probably be really Florida. close by to the Petco she went to to pick yeah, up yeah. the cats in Boynton yeah, also Beach. Went to Boynton. Why don't you, you think it's why on why the wrong side of the bridge, Monique? I am. That, yeah, that, totally. That, <laughs> where uh, the Palm Beach has the nice side, and then there's the the Epstein uh, victim side, and that's got yeah. Be but it it's is. Palm Beach, you know, so they all pull up with their drivers and yes. Yes. Palm Beach yes. Sam Club. Oh, you got look at us, look at us shopping like like real. Oh people. my god, <laughs> it, it is it is nowhere near where they live. Give us um, give us the timing. Give, yeah, Hold give on, us I'm a. Looking. Hold on. Oh dear. Uh, directions. There's from, probably only one. What's the address? The, what's the address the, for? His okay, place? well, I'm going to move on while you do that. Oh. Okay, we, we're, we're <laughs> going to do this oh, on air. Stop. Um, so let's go on to uh, about the uh, dessert discussion. Here we go. Whenever we have company over, since we always give company dessert, uh-huh. that's when you can have company. sugar. You could eat the dessert. Other than that, the rule is no sugar. Company. So she's been having a hard time. She feels she should have sugar. You're really upset, aren't you? I've been thinking about this all morning. Should we? Should I have? Should I go out and get cookies for dessert? Or can I make a suggestion? Oh God, what, if what if we, we have, have ice cream? What if we oh, have listen to the, the banana dessert? Yeah, that has been at least. Is- well, let's let's promote let's promote our friend's ice cream while we're at it. Here we go. It's made exactly. with bananas. You mean the ice cream? The Jessica no, Seinfeld the banana ice cream. Not the Jessica Seinfeld ice cream. The or or that. Because that's no sugar. It's peanut butter and banana. So well, you can have a scoop. Well, sugar, but it's and fruit almond sugar. milk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. In other words, it's not like peeps. It's not like yeah. <laughs> have a nice Entenmann's and some Sanka. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this Sam's Club. Is... A Stelladoro breadstick. Ooh. <laughs> those S's. Oh, I love oh, those. Oh, the S's. Oh, my God. Oh, when I was I sick for two weeks, that's all I could eat. But I, I started to, you know, I was throwing them up horribly. So I can't even, like, smell them right now. It's, it's a shame because I love those <laughs> and is so, that, so, so much. That toast. <gasps> um, okay, <sighs> so it's 10 miles from the house. Okay, 20 minutes. But it's, you have to go You have to go pretty inland. they got to cross 95. So but that's okay. Ten miles as the crow flies. That's what a townies flies. live. That's what yes. a townies live. I don't yes. think they're going. You know what this yes. is? What? This is DDLG. This is DDLG. This is yes, girl it is. Asking daddy if it's okay to eat from Can the. Can I have a cookie? Bag. Can I <laughs> have a cookie, <laughs> daddy? All this is My oldest sister. Really twisted crap, man. Go, John. My my oldest sister, you reminded me. My oldest sister one time, we were four. We went. My mom's aunt, and they had strange smells coming out of the house. And we're driving home. My oldest sister goes, "I don't want to kiss her anymore. Her breath smells like Stella Dora breadsticks." <laughs> <laughs> I was just cackling as a little kid because that commercial just looks like it's, it's the, the very fast. Yeah, it must bed. be an East Coast thing, though, Stella Dora. <laughs> yeah, no? exactly. I don't think that Xavier's ever heard of it. I told him I was eating Stella Dora like, nope, never cookies. Heard never heard of it. Yeah, but Coach is right. These are the same people that were fantasizing about having a milkshake. Remember? Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. God, sure. we're gonna have French fries, and we're just gonna eat a burger. It's gonna be amazing. Never happened. What All right, so listen to clown, how dude. frightening. Listen to how frightening her sugar addiction is. This is this is my favorite clip of the night. I don't buy any of this. Now listen, listen. Do you think if we have dessert tonight, are you gonna go berserk the next day, and then like everything's just gonna blow up in your That's face? That's my fear. Mm. Huh? But the pe- you know that when I threw the rest of the peeps out, oh, I God. had to take old cat food and old. drop it on top of it so I wouldn't go into the garbage. Yes, Pittsburghians don't them. pronounce L. She was so upset that she says to me, go in the kitchen and remove all cookies and throw them out. I go, what? So I'm hunting around for the cookies. I throw them, in the, sure I throw them away. And then she goes, pour a uh, sauce over them or something so I, so I don't fish them out of the garbage and eat oh, them. Oh, my God. What? Can you imagine? <clears throat> what? You all relate, right, in the chat? 
This is yeah. anorexia 101. This is two anorexics. Throw to ketchup on top of it so that I won't rifle through the garbage Jesus to eat it. Christ. And they, how many what? trash compactors oh. do they have? Oh my god! That you could just destroy Meanwhile, it on the on the spot. On I the don't. Spot. Ha- I, I've never had a trash compactor in my life. I don't even know how that works. I don't even it, know. It, it, you put it in there, and it makes the garbage it smaller. Squishes it. Oh, it, it, oh it's like like in Star Meanwhile, Wars. As, as Howard's telling the story, Bob has got a turkey leg sink. and a salt lick. Oh, that's different. <laughs> I meant know, the disposal, um, Dennis. Uh, KT uh, KT Aldi posted uh, the um, George when he goes into the garbage to get the eclair. Yeah, oh, exactly. God, that's great. <laughs> that's what it sounds this like. This is unright. This is unright. This is unright. That's a great episode. He gets caught squeegeeing the windshield over and over again. I love that episode. <laughs> this is unright. I just said that. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's move on just a, a little bit. Here's some classic Beth Strionics, which Beth I'm Strionics. I'm very excited to give to you because we've only heard this how many times? Here we go. I'm all dewy. What's I'm going like, on with know. you? I'm having some kind of. It's probably I think all I just the sugar. A hot shower too. I mean, you, you look like you're gonna pass out. No, I'm not doing well. I think I need to go lay down. Maybe you need me to bang you. Maybe that's it. <sighs> Maybe you have a lot of tension. <sighs> So, Dennis, what percentage now of her appearances are ending in fake fainting and every off every time? Every time. It's 100 percent. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Jeez. Every so time. this is rehearsed. Right? We'll just assume this time. is rehearsed. This whole repartee they have has got to be rehearsed. They're at least going over some kind of uh, outline. Let's go she's on there. You'll think faint about it every and... single time she's on now. And then Howard, you know, Howard gets this voice when she's yeah. on and she's feeling weak and he'll be like, oh, honey. Oh, no. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, honey. Oh, no. And it's just, I'm oh, it's just insane. The patronizing, restrained baby oh, voice. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah. no. So now, because she also doesn't drink water, she yeah, needs a water good. alternative. She won't drink water. <laughs> she won't drink water. She doesn't drink water. You know what I did? I ordered something for my wife that I think she's going to like. It's like a water substitute. I'm going to try it. Water um, substitute. The, um, you know what that is? Pellegrino Company oxygen. makes like flavored Pellegrino. Uh, I tried it. And you I did? Like it. Uh, yeah. I ordered it for you. All right. I drink, uh, I drink, I drink a spin drift. Every night. Yeah, but you like it's like it's like you it's like you're gagging on I know, it. I hate it. <laughs> the only thing she drinks is Spindrift, and yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck's a Spindrift? Yeah. I don't know. Let's look it up. What the heck? <clears throat> First of all, all right. The alternative to water is just water with flavor in it. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> Chris, Crystal Delight, Crystal Light. Well, no, it's San Pellegrino flavored waters, which actually they use the actual fruit flavor when they put it in there. And I guess it can't stand the real flavor. Here's the spin drift so that you can see what it looks like. What the hell is this? You've seen these. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it either. I don't go to those places. I'm I'm not fancy. Oh, no, no, no. They have them all over the place. Where? um, I don't know. It's a it's a club soda. It's like a, I wouldn't drink it. I wouldn't buy it. But I've I've absolutely seen the. I've never seen this. The pack that looks so pretentious. Of course it is. Jesus. And if you look at the ingredients, on the back it says water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see what's water, the content. Artificial flavor. flavorings. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> That's how, it is. how much is it? Twenty six dollars. Water. Uh, let's see. Beth and Four Howard pack. drink. That's why Coca Cola. Oh, the rich because it. Like yeah. their ingredients are ninety nine percent water. Wait, how? What is that? A twelve pack for seven forty nine? Good Christ! It's a four pack. Is twelve forty eight? Um, oh yeah, but everybody, God. well, everybody down here drinks like this pineapple one with vodka. Oh. But apparently, it's it's quite tasty. Pineapple is only good with coconut and rum. Yeah, huh? Coco melon and rum, Dennis. Coco melon. <laughs> <laughs> melon and rum. <laughs> Where is the? What is in it? Frequently asked questions, where to buy. I'm just curious. What, what is it's, this? What is Spindrift? Yes. It's water. It's <laughs> a little flavoring. It's a delicious sparkling water made with real squeezed fruit. How do you squeeze a pineapple? Are your products sugar-free? The skeleton uh, quintons can't be like you and I. Their, their water has four I molecules has to be of special. hydrogen in it. Like she can't just be a normal human being. Yeah. They have I don't have... drink water. I get dizzy. I have rabbits. You're so eccentric. Basic bitch uh, trying to be eccentric. Wait. Why is Spindrift so expensive? Because it's made with real fruit. Spindrift is definitely pricier than La Croix and most other flavor seltzers on the market. Okay, I just got and... back from my Spindrift classes. 
<laughs> I mean, this is insane. Well, you it said is Sam. Insane. <clears throat> it is insane. I mean, it's She's really. I'm just really one. trying to see what's in it, and I don't see. Yeah, that I think. It's... I think uh, Tarjay should so have. So this it. is product placement, or no? Here it what is. Think? Oh, here, here well, we go. She just said it tastes awful. So. Who knows? Uh, well, no, no, no. Know. Spindrift is the only thing she does drink. Right. So she this is a product placement. It tastes awful. And, and it gags on it. Oh, <laughs> nice. Good fat, too, Master. Zero grams. Total carbs, one it gram. Has, it has no a sugars. Gram of carbs. No added sugars. No protein. No anything. Here's what's in it carbonated water, lemon juice. Yeah. Two so Master one up to me as H one twelve O is their water. <laughs> 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 I, I can't imagine that tasting good. She is such a goon, man. She can't really is. It's just, yeah, I know. We can't uh, get the label Everything info. Is just, wait, what the hell's in this? Just DDLG all day. DDLG. Okay, enough with the spin. The spin. Good thrift. Lord. Spin drift. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> um, so okay, so I wanted to. Let's finish with her being Do in there. Do you think she cries when she poops? Yeah, I think if she I does poop, it's similar no to what fucking Jessica Rabbit oh, poops, to be honest with you. No, even the little no, pellets got to hurt because it's going to be pain. solid. I'm just crying. If this is really what she's eating, how often is she going to the bathroom? Well, she's still her? eating carbs. I mean, she's, like 30 days. she's eating like her Lucky Charms and all that other stuff. Yeah, but, but doesn't like popcorn bind you? Doesn't all that sugar yes, it bind you? It binds you up. I can't so, even yeah. imagine. I actually, I have a theory that it goes and it just vomits it back up. Binge and purge. It could be. Binge and I purge. Put nothing past Binge and purge. She wouldn't be the first. Oh, no. that's so disgusting. Look at it. I mean, I mean, a few look at people it. that they they indulge and then they go into the bathroom with a spoon. Totally. And, totally. And, and, I don't think you need a spoon. Knows. I I I can I can automatically vomit if I need to. Honestly, no, I can I can think about you? being nauseous and I could vomit. I can vomit on will. It's shoot. actually a skill set I have. Basic, <laughs> basic binge from basic it's disgusting binge. actually but yeah i don't know yeah anybody. crazy robin she probably does use laxatives and well yeah laxatives. i would agree oh, with that absolutely i would I yeah her totally. poop is probably pe- pink exactly <laughs> um okay let's finish with Beth just really quickly Jesus. uh Okay, this was weird, and I want to talk about it really quickly. So they were talking about shows that they're watching, obviously The Bachelor and stuff like that. Um, and then Beth says this, but mm-hmm. there's two parts to this that I'm thinking about. Hang we on. also watched the Brooke Shields documentary that was really good. Yeah, but it's not out yet. We got oh. it, we got it early. Oh, well, privilege. You got it. You know the producers. Yep. Allie so and George. Got, yeah, we got to see it. Allie and George are the producers of the Brooke Shields thing that is going to be on TV. So my two-part thing is, what are the odds that Howard is going to have Brooke Shields on to talk about her life? She's never been on the show, you know, and this is... They are bestie friends. 100%. Allie and George, who produced this show for Hulu, which is a Disney subsidiary... Ergo, of course. 112%. Yeah. So I don't think she was supposed to mention that on no. air. Nip and he went, he moved is. on. He moved on from it like immediately. Woo. Hey, how impressive could it be if Brooke Shields was outside the grocery store? With, hey, you want to see my DVD? <laughs> exactly. I mean, if I'm, if I have I'm to not tell mistaken, you, Brooke's yeah. part of the Hamptons clique too. And I yes, hear her is. name is come up really? all the time in these yes. soirees. And they never actually had her on. This is this is the time, Monique. You nailed it. This is going to be the time she. So it'll be on. interesting to see if that yep. happens. And so well, I did a little bit of a deep dive into Brooke Shields yesterday, and it uh-oh. is really nice shockingly uh, disturbing how they exploited her as a very young yeah. girl. Do you know she was like in a really? Playboy, um, a Playboy like sub magazine, well, fully Klein naked, bro, fully naked in a bathtub at ten years old. Ten. And her mother oh. allowed her to do this fully she naked. Was that, she was in that oh. question that that one movie when she was Blue a, child, Lagoon. Like a baby. Yeah. That she was twelve in that, like but that? they let her strip like down naked dude. at ten. She was twelve in Blue Lagoon? No, she no, was no, fourteen she was in Blue Lagoon. Lagoon. Was she was fourteen or fifteen in Blue Lagoon. She was twelve in Pretty Baby, where she was a Jesus. prostitute and all yeah. these adult men are Good bidding thing. for her. Dude. Yep. You're right. Yes. And and David or Keith Carradine, whoever it was who played the guy who won the bet when they had to do this very incredibly uncomfortable kissing scene because she had to, you know, make love to him because he he won her virginity. And he said to her, please just know that this is all pretend. (laughs) 
This is all just make believe. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And it was complete exploitation of Brooke Shields. Dude. I mean, it's really just awful how her mother, who was a the original momager, you know, was a, was a loon. Yeah. You she know, was original, she, mom. And she you know, was bad when the first thing you have stunning. to say is, hey, put your raggedy hand down. We need to do Exactly. <laughs> but she didn't know. She didn't know any better. You know, she just, she, she was, was always kid. told that she was a beautiful little girl and, and they were going to exploit her. But when I found out that she was actually in a Playboy fully naked at 10 years old. Ugh, or, wow. That's, I mean, just a that's child, creepy. a baby. That's, that's really sick. Hey, even Mr. That's Skinner. Sick. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, and Jodie Foster was a 12-year-old prostitute. They also had her in a Playboy special edition when she was like 12 or 13 years old. Same time period. Make love to me. Who were the parents? Don Henley? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Papa John? Oh, my Christopher (laughs) Atkins over here. Wait, wait, wait. (laughs) MFT has Howard was fully naked in the creature of the... Uh, the, from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's, that's exactly thing. the same. David uh, says that he made he met Chris Atkins in 2015. Ah, when David was an impressionable 12 year old, and he is a sad, sad man. He's kind of a deadbeat dad, and just seemed like he was looking for drugs from my friend who knew him. Blue Lagoon fucked everyone up. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I'm I sure love it Atkins did. looking at David, going, "How the fuck do you know who I am?" <laughs> <Barely over there>. <laughs> 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 go score me, go score me a dime bag, kid. Let's go, 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 go. Um, okay, so yeah, so the Brooke Shields thing, I, if she is on, I really look forward to that because I did a no. deep dive into her and she's no. sort of a... it's going to be horrible. It's yeah, I know it's going to be horrible. Terrible. No, I know. You're going to hate her at the end of it. You're going to hate her by yeah, the I end know. of it. I know, I know. I mean, I don't care about her one hey, way Brooke or the other, but it was, Chris, it was just really disturbing that that's... <laughs> that they exploited her the way they did. It's just horrible. Can you All right, so then exploiting someone. What are mm-hmm. the odds? So then they move on mm-hmm. to uh, just real quickly <laughs> because they still obviously don't know how a root canal works. Your whole ensemble looks great. I didn't even see it this morning. Somehow. I know you were out of it. Did you realize I got to go uh, this week and get uh, the second half yeah, of Thursday? M- yeah, the second half of yeah. my. Uh, what canal. is that called? Root canal. Mm-hmm. Oh, the root canal. They didn't yeah, do the whole thing at once, huh? No, they couldn't. In, oh, I you remember mean... when I had mine, two, uh-huh. two different um, stages, but I remember the second one, the second stage she not being as bad as the first. Oh, right. so that'll give oh. you some comfort. Yeah, it gives no, me a lot sure. of comfort. Because isn't that where <clears throat> they put in the new tooth and all that? No. Yeah. I no, I don't need a new tooth. Crown. Not a root canal. Just, oh, so it's just crowning. finishing it up, just cleaning it up. It's not a crown, it's a root canal. How is Bob not coming up in this? No, Maybe. no, 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 no. Root canal is just that they deaden the root and right, keep the tooth. Right, I know. I've had them. Trust right. me. So a tooth only comes in when you get a uh, well, crown. Well, no, because it depends on how much they had to damage the tooth to actually need the root canal. Because if it's bad enough, then they would have to put a crown on it because you can't, if you couldn't fill it. But then it's a crown. It's not a root canal. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about because doesn't he have big fake veneers all, yes. all through his mouth? Yes, but he has horrible how teeth. They, <clears throat> he always are, has. But how are they How are they doing this with those big fake veneers? Right, they put I'm a crown confused. on a root canal. So basically, yes, yeah. they, they, that's, they, what I, that's what I said. I they drill, they drill the to- tooth down to like a nubbin and then right. they put in that metal post and then you got to wait like three months so that oh, no, the... No, no, that's different. That's, that's, that's a... Um, crown. That, no, no, crown is where they just drill a hole in the tooth. They kind of flatten the tooth out. And then they glue a, they glued a crown on top. There's no post. That's something different. That's an implant. I have that too. Implant. Yes. How, Howard gets a, um, a colonoscopy, a root canal, and a blood test every three days. Yes, yes. Chad, he does every three. <laughs> and I've and never how seen is it human... that Dr. Agus hasn't been uh, not Dr. Yeah, Dr. Agus hasn't been all over Beth about her eating habits? You know, Howard hears that he might have a fake? slight heightened cholesterol because Fraud. of all the coffee he drinks. He stops drinking it immediately. Yes, mercury yeah. from eating one mercury fish. from eating <laughs> yeah. too much salmon. He stops eating it for like forever. You know, so how is it that he doesn't care that his childlike bride eats too much candy and he likes is pre diabetic? Affy, he likes some Affy has it perfect there. He's getting crown molding. Crown molding. It's, it's so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Gungadin. That is code for plastic surgery every time. Yes, exactly. Every time. Yeah, it exactly. is. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you know, the doctor, but the doctor, I guess, first of all, will never hear his name ever again. Um, he's, oh, he's no. now dead to the Oh, no, I know. He's yeah. dead. 
<laughs> we'll God. never hear about him. Um, <laughs> nah. Okay. So we're going to go on just a little bit. And this is good because I only have six it's clips left. It's good. So it's good. since now we decided we weren't going to spend 40 minutes on the stupid gram, um, we can actually continue with our clippage. So mm. yeah, let's listen to this. So they were going to play a game about some drunk girl at the St. Paddy's oh. Day Parade, and they were going to do a contest. So in this, you get all these little subtle hints about the fact that, you know, JD, did you think she was good looking? You know, you should have like gone after her and, you know, she was so cute and whatever. And it's like, what part of you think, you know, you all are so delusional, delusional about what you look like yeah. that you think well, that JD could easily go up to some cute college girl and automatically have her. Well, or that the show is any semblance of fame that translates she, to that. Yeah, to 19-year-olds. Well, no, yeah. right. She, no, she is, but she was very drunk. So there is yeah, that. There's right. that. There's there, that. But, now, the funny part, though, would kind of backtrack. Just one second, though. At the end of the Bestrionix, um segment, they actually couldn't find the cat that it brought in. Oh, right, right, the, right. The cat was missing. Like, the cat was gone. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, it's a black cat, number one. I'm sure it's not like that bright <laughs> in his and office. It went, it just went, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Okay, have they flatly admitted on this show yet about the Tanko uh, breakup and divorce? Has, has it at They're all teasing been? It. They even, never will. They, they never, never flatly So he, But he's doing this. But yes. he's doing this. Okay, no, but so yeah. he, they, sent, they sent JD out to do the um, contest yes, questions yeah, with Sal, true. of all people. Oh, so And Christ. Sal's been on way too much as well. That was like a huge portion of the show today. So uh, how creeped out were these girls with these two approaching them? Ugh. <laughs> Horrible. Christ. Horrible. Um, all right, so let's listen to his reality about these stupid uh, quizzes that he gives. Hang on. All right, Robin, since you're the only contestant, uh, you get the Oh, play. dear. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I could go to someone on the phone and give them a prize, but that's just a hassle. Let's just play with you. <laughs> yeah, it's because you don't have any substantial um, uh, commercial... Listener? Uh, people who will give money and volunteer money for prizes or for gifts, you don't have that anymore. You know, who's going to who's gonna volunteer the 500 or $1,000? That's right. Who? That's you right. Know? Steven Remember you used Singer? to look forward to Mondays with this show? Remember how when you used to like this show, how you used to get excited for Monday and how now Monday couldn't be worse and now you got to listen to this and it makes Monday even worse than it already, already it's is. It's the worst. It's the worst day of the week for him, honestly. But, I mean, it gives us a lot of material because it's always something really stupid that he's going to talk about. Grooving. It's always um, grooving. And then he's about to leave. Like, the show went on entirely too long, which which yeah. was, which was gave credence to your thought that Wendy, for 45 minutes, was taped. Because why would they go, go on until almost 11, really, today? 10.45. Yeah. It it's it's not that the show is too long. It's so <clears> bad. <throat> it feels like it's eight hours. Because but it was longer than normal, nothing. for sure. Okay, I think because they cut an hour off in the beginning. No, oh, he'll, he'll make it. Just... You ain't getting anything for free, believe me. He'll make up for that some other time. So It'll be chiseled he... off somewhere. That's right. So he decides to talk about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the fact that he decided when he got his uh, submission for voting that he was going to vote this year. And it's, you know, it's such a big favor to these people to have Howard Stern vote for you. You know, he really thinks that it's an honor for them to have been uh, voted on by him. And then we get into some, you know, Gary ass suckery. So hang on a second. Let me go to it. Tomorrow, this the Smashing time. Pumpkins will be performing. In Welcome oh, to 1996. that's new and different. Exactly. Yeah. You know how great they are. Still not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, huh, Gary? It's so bizarre he still has them on. No, they haven't even been nominated, Howard. I'm wow. should be. To me. Why is Dweezil well, Zappa now in there? some yes. sort of weird bubble, because I think they're one of the most important bands of the 90s. Uh, this is uh, this Smashing fake Pumpkins, cool factor. Nirvana. Smashing Pumpkins could, could, could technically be defined as a one-hit wonder in my eyes. I, no, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I, I have no Absolutely. thoughts about Smashing Pumpkins. Probably functions. have four or five songs people would know. Well, I'll give you, the fact I'll give that you he that. still thinks they're cool is insane. Yes, in, they're, they're in the zombie category. They're right with Rob Zombie. He's stuck in 1997 perpetually, yep. and well, this the, is like the they were problem, on his soundtrack, right? Yeah, they were the on the other problem is that uh, yeah, he that he, Corgan has fired everybody in that band. I mean, they're on oh, like really? the tenth yeah. tenth <laughs> version of that band now. It's just him. It's just him it's and just whoever him. you want to call the pumpkins. Yeah. Listen, the, the the pumpkins were decent, but then he started banging Courtney Love and absolutely 
Well, well you just dropped that. off like a trap well, door. I mean, look what it look what it did to Corbain having sex with her. I mean, yeah. Corbain <laughs> really do well. For no him good can come of that. No good can come of that. All right, let's, let's listen. Um. Well, well, there's still bands trying. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins will be performing, and you know how great they are. Still not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, huh, Gary? No, they haven't even been nominated, Howard. Unbelievable wow. to me. Can't imagine well, why. maybe I'm wow. living in some sort of weird bubble because I think they're one of the most important bands of the 90s. No, uh, Smashing not. Pumpkins, okay. Nirvana. No. Um, you can't there's still bands sound, trying to get in. Jeremy spoke. Soundboard's yeah. not in. Sound yeah, we were talking, Zersky, we were talking about this the other day. Gary's voice sounds really, really bad. We have no he's idea on, what's going on, on with him. Uh, pain he's medication. been chain smoking for years and years and years. And, I mean, and pain medications. medications. Yeah. And pain medication. I can't believe it. Yeah. And rage is in it. Can't believe right. that. Hey, by the way, I got the voting ballot for uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, I that's one vote. of the signs of the apocalypse. These posters did? get to vote for I the did. Rock and Roll Hall of right. Fame. Right. This is I why I hate. This is why I mean, sports is great. For? You don't get this in sports. Sports is merit based. You'll never get this shit in sports. Yeah. Right. Gary Delabate no, is not getting a I vote for, for the Sound Garden. Baseball Hall of Fame. Right. Shh, 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 shh. Mm-hmm. Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Willie Nelson, because now Definitely. they let country people in, and Willie's the best. Why shouldn't they? I voted for Rage Against the Machine and Cindy Lauper. <laughs> and I, in the worst Cindy way, Lauper. I wanted to put in Warren Zevon, Name but one thing she did I figure he won't know the difference. <laughs> and so, he can't uh, feel bad about it now. All right. Yeah. You don't... So, you know, I love Warren Zevon. But uh, Cindy Lauper, Rage Against the Machine, Willie Nelson, Cheryl Crow, and Soundgarden. Who'd you vote for, Gary? <laughs> So now we go into the conversation. So you only vote for people who've done your show. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. That's That's right. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly. That's that's a great way to induct people in music. Because Cheryl Crow shouldn't be part of the Pelican Brief. What? Weren't they part of the Pelican Brief? Yes, they were. Who? Billy Corgan was. Billy Corgan. Billy, that's a good one. That guy from Soundgarden was in it too. That guy. He can't remember his name. That's right. That guy. That guy from Soundgarden. But you know, the thing is, what about Cheryl Crow? Cheryl Crow shouldn't even be allowed, like, to view the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, she had, what, one album? One album. One album. Great like, album, but one album. Two songs. Cindy Lauper, I mean, she was this great no for, like, disco. a hot second in no the country 80s. country either. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's listen, to, let's listen to voting for people from the show. Here we go. Why are they not nominated? He's You're right. Still about I felt like such a douche voting. I was like, you, you know, right. I'm so... But I had the ballot sitting Deuce. there, and I went, you know what? Cindy Lauper's done the show many times. How could I not give her a it's little? It's not a reason to put someone in. Same show- no, but he really Easy. thinks he's doing them a favor. Are you listening to this? He no, thinks I know. I know, I know. He's <laughs> king maker. It's because king of maker. him that, that if they do him. win, it's going to be because he influenced him, people so. to do so this. Don't you times. get it? How could I not give her a little? If Cheryl so. Crow, same deal. Cheryl Crow has done the show a million times. Soundgarden, yeah, we knew. Yeah, that's a right there. Monique, uh, I'll that, say that, it again. We do. Chris. It's like it voting Chris. for Lenny Dykstra for the Baseball Hall of Fame because he's done the show. That's the equivalent. I want to hear the clip, so just hang on. Let's listen. And then when I pause it, then you can all... Be, talk you know, at the same time, yes. Yes, you can all talk at the same time. Show a million times, Soundgarden, we knew uh, the, the lead dude. Chris. We knew him. Chris. The lead no, dude. Still Chris Cornell. We knew, Willie Nelson's done our show. Oh, so I was like, love you know, Willie. Yeah. And I love Rage Against the Machine and Tom Morello, so sound, why not? I, so I looked at it and I said, you know, don't be this a dick. Very, uh, Fill it out. Fine. Put it in the envelope of mail. Howie Brasco. Captain, These might yeah. be the, the votes that put them in. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is what's going to take it over the edge because hey, you, know you have decided if, uh, to... If, if Cindy Lauper goes in, she should go in with Lou Albano. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Rupert it's Pumpkin, the, condescending WWF Howard, Lauper. anoints recording artist. Yes, 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 this is what Am he I thinks. Do you remember that video? Mm-hmm. He didn't know who Tom Morello was until Sirius no. gave him a channel. You're exactly right. He had no idea who Tom Morello was. And now he knows who no. Tom Now he wants him in the Hall of Fame. He didn't know who he was until two years ago. <laughs> Hunk, hunkering, for a hank, uh, hunkering for a hunk of cheese. Flock of seagulls. Flock of seagulls. You know what? I, I can see honest. it. Listen, did Depeche Mode win last time when, to get in? Yeah. Yes, right? Yeah, yeah, they're in. Yeah, of course they are. Alice in Chains is still not in, but that's, you know. My girl it's band. weird. Doesn't okay. understand why. I can't understand why. So here's what he doesn't understand, which I find amazing. He doesn't understand George Michael, and who's also nominated this year. Um, he doesn't understand that George Michael is probably one of the biggest 
selling yeah. recording artists of the 90s into the 2000s. He has no yeah. idea. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's important to them. <laughs> Howard, I am curious. Um, what was your thought on George Michael? Were you like, no fucking way? It never crossed your no mind? No fucking way. Like, I think George Michael's a really good singer, but the body of work. What? Let's, let's what was that? I mean, I can name three George Michael. There, there was one song that was a real big hit, the Whisper, Whisper something. Oh, Careless my whispers. God. Careless Whispers. Then there was oh the one where he was like God. Elvis and he was. Uh, the Whisper. What? Faith. Elvis. I don't know. Faith, gotta have it. Yeah, he was I want good. Sex. I think. I want yeah, sex. a bunch of songs. Didn't know that. He no, was more was innovative yeah, with Michael. videos and stuff. I thought than freedom yeah. with music. Yeah, they have know. no idea. They have Please no idea how huge George Michael was. And I, I was a big George Christ. Michael fan. I went to see him on his last tour um, before he died, and I, I loved think... him. His voice was just as strong as ever. Whoa. What, baby? <laughs> I'm going to guess that Howard doesn't know that George Michael was gay. I'm going to guess that he may not even know he's dead. I'm, 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 not, I'm I mean, serious. If you, what? Actually, both are that true. He, that he came out and he was caught having anonymous gay sex in Beverly Hills uh, public bathrooms? Yeah. Howard couldn't, he would put a hole through with a pit with the pen voting for him. Yeah, he doesn't know anything, but he doesn't know that music. Like What's he, worse, the yeah. whisper, the whisper, or Jeremy's the whisper, book? The whisper. The whisper. <laughs> the whisper. The whisper. Might have Jeremy's Dude. book. Eat. The whisper. He, totally the whisper. he actually said. called it the whisper, didn't he? The whisper. Wow. The whisper. The Elvis song. Wait, can, the we, can Elvis we listen? Song. To, I gotta listen to it again. Hang on. Fucking I have ridiculous. to. Yeah, He's guess. so stupid. He's so stupid. I'm curious. Um, <laughs> what was your thought on George Michael? Were you like, no fucking way? It never crossed your no mind. No fucking way. Like, I think George Michael's a really good singer, but the body of work. There's no body of work. Bro. What was that? I mean, Ooh. I can name three George Michael. There, there was one song that was a real big hit, The Whisper. Whisper yes, The Whisper. Something. The Careless Whispers. The Careless whisper. Whispers. Whisper. Whisper. Then there was the, the one whisper. where he was like Elvis. The Elvis was, uh, song. The Whispers. Faith. Oh. I don't know. Faith. The God, Whispers. The yeah, he was good. He's so stupid. Yeah, had a bunch of songs, but... He no, was but I didn't more keep... innovative with videos no. and stuff, I thought. No, no, he was. Yeah. You yeah. idiot. Whether yeah, you think George bug. Michael is some homoerotic pop-flavored fruit basket, he's <laughs> ten times the popularity <laughs> of fucking Billy Corgan internationally. Ten oh, times. my God, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. And well-respected him. Again, if you close. ask 250 people who Billy Corgan is and who George Michael is, Absolutely. most of them will know who George Michael internationally is. Internationally, especially. Yes. International. Yeah. Not for Howard, though. This is not music he listens wait, to. But also, George <clears throat> Michael is also in Wham, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all like, like, so talking like about I mean, there's a huge so body of work. Like to- it would be a totally different thing. He permeated you know, the 2000s, too. It just amazes me what an ignoramus <laughs> Howard is of all the things he professes to be an expert on. And no one calls him out. You have Gary there who fancies Absolutely. himself this, this, you know, stump the buoy fishing. Hey, right, and Gary's like, okay, jellyfish. okay. Okay, yeah. if you don't need yep. to go along okay. with Okay. I'll get a paycheck. Okay. <laughs> I have Wham on vinyl, boss. You began to rock. <laughs> steady, steady me, rocking all night. Let me, give you, let me give you a little George Michael, okay? I mean, Careless a Whisper. Song. Last Christmas, one of the Jesus biggest Christ. Christmas yeah. songs yeah. Huge. Yes. ever. Wake me up before you go, go. <sighs> one more try. Freedom. Fa- I will be your father, father figure. figure. Do oh they know God. it's Christmas? He was part of that. Everything yeah. she wants. Amazing song. Jesus to a child. Don't let the sun go down on me. His duet with Elton John. Amazing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fast love. Knew you were walking. A different corner. The best. Faith. Kissing a fool. Praying That's for crazy. time. I want your sex. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's a lot. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> <laughs> Edge of I, I heaven, Cowboys and Angels. Africa I'm your man, but no, wow. no, this is not music that anybody knows. And if Howard doesn't know no, it, no, it no. doesn't count as music. <laughs> still, and he gets a vote. He gets a vote for gets the Rock vote. and Roll Hall of Fame. It's unbelievable. It's more corrupt and scatological than the Baseball Hall of Fame. Basic bitch vote. The basic basic bitch, bitch, bitch vote. Yes. Stupid dude. He is so stupid. So okay. Stupid. So I mean, then Gary, of course, in his usual kiss-ass uh, sycophantic self, course. says this. On, but I was wondering, like, John, you know, John Stewart's gotten it, Dave Chappelle's gotten it, and I think that Howard is worthy oh of the God. Mark Twain Award, and I don't know why <laughs> his name never comes up or why you haven't gotten it yet. So I said to Gary, Jesus first of all, I don't even know what the fuck the Mark Twain Award is. I said, it's a Kennedy these... Center. It's like it's, well, not, it's not nothing. 
I would take Mark, a Kennedy. Mark so Gary goes, there any award so you would take? It. I said, I would take a Kennedy Center Honors, but of course, I'm politically incorrect. So I no, so he what? says he would take a Kennedy oh. Center's Honors Award. Let's just um, let's just review what the Kennedy Center Award is. It's yep. a prize named to honor one of the world's greatest humorists. Was awarded to Adam Sandler. Okay, it's um, it's basically for humorists with a big body of work. Um, and he had like a shit ton of people that were there to oh, celebrate welcome, it Sanders. with him. And here's his special guests, Jennifer Aniston, Judd Apatow, Steve Buscemi, Drew Barrymore, Dana Carvey, all his, all his peripheral, yeah, Louis Guzman, yeah. Louis Guzman yeah, Louis Tim Guzman. Meadows, <laughs> Tim Hurley, who, who looks shockingly like what, um, what, what's his face is going to look like in another five often. years. That's his uh, quote writing partner. And I use that term very loosely. Adina loosely. Menzel, Conan O'Brien, Rob Schneider, uh, Chris Rock, David Spade, so Ben Stiller. Why wasn't Howard invited? Yeah, Everybody was else knows sucks. it. Previous Nobody recipients were Richard Pryor, Jonathan Winters, Carl Reiner, Whoopi Goldberg, Bob Newhart, Lily Tomlin, Lorne Michaels, Steve Martin, Neil Simon, Billy Crystal, George Carlin, Bill Cosby, which was rescinded in 2018, Tina Fey, Will Ferrell, Tina Ellen Fey. DeGeneres, Carol Jesus Burnett, Christ. Jay does, Leno. Does Lorne Michaels control this, Monique? He must. They're, mm -hmm. they're all Lorne Michaels. Uh, yeah. Well, it's the Kennedy Center. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't she's really got a, know. I bet he's on the committee. I bet he knows the people. It's Eddie bizarre. Murphy, it's Bill Murray, David Letterman, Julie Louise-Dreyfus, David Chappelle, and John Stewart. So that's who's been in it. So No Beth Ostrowski? I think. <laughs> so when you look at this list, when you look at the list of people who are part of it, let's listen to the rest of the clip, and then we'll talk about I it. I would never get that. But the Mark Twain Award, I'm like, you know, and congratulations <laughs> hey. to Adam, and if it's meaningful yeah, to him. Yeah, but it's but most... the, you know, what they give to... Comedians, you know, Steve Martin has that award. Eddie Murphy has that award. Well, here's the secret. Here's okay. the secret. Because Comedy Central used to call me all the time. They wanted to call me yeah, a day, every day award. I would, I would say no. Oh, because so what cool. it meant is that... Wow, you're so cute that you so think cool. a low-level cable station wait, giving wait. you an award when it's really a roast that they wanted you to yes. do and bring really? all your friends to be assholes about it is nothing like getting a Kennedy but Center we award. Stepped over, we stepped over what he said. He said, man of, of the year. Of course we stepped over. Of course we so stepped over it. That's he, all we fucking do is step over it. He's mixing together what what Dean Martin used to do in the 70s and think that 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 Comedy Central was doing the same thing. Yes, of Man course. of the Year. It's Man of the Year went away when Dean Martin stopped doing yeah, it. Man. Yes. They, it's called a roast, dare dude. They want to do a roast with you, but you can't take a joke. So to that's would never comedians. Work. You know, Steve Martin has that award. Eddie what Murphy has such... that award. Well, here's the secret. Here's okay. the secret. Because Comedy Central used to call me all the time. They wanted to call me the man Allie of the Brasco, year award. Exactly. I would, I would say no. Because what it meant is I'd have to pick up the phone, call all my friends, and <laughs> basically put together a TV show for them for Caesar. free. For them. For yeah. them. In other words, uh, they were like, well, yeah, um, we want to make you man of the year, and then we're going to invite all your friends, and then we'll have a TV show. And I go, yeah, and how do these people get paid? Oh, they go, no, 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 it's an honor. So he needs he, more money. He needs more money from the Kennedy. It's Center. all about it's all it's about all the marbles. About, he needs money. He needs <clears throat> yes, so, Xerxes. Um, Mark Twain went in blackface and used the N word as well. The he, next yes, two recipients, does, I just saw this. Does just Howard up Stern know this is the Mark Twain Award, not the Jim from Huck Finn Award? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Yes, he doesn't. No, he doesn't know that. So here's cool awards that Howard yeah. would accept. Okay, it's it's one. It's my next to the last clip. So cool awards Howard would accept. Here we go. Like I would think it was cool. Not that this is gonna happen. No, but no, like it's never gonna Bruce happen. Like if the Bruce Springsteen interview oh with God, that aired so on thirsty. HBO won an Emmy, I would go. To that. <laughs> I would think that would be cool. So thirsty and to win an Emmy, it had to have been seen. Private part. Okay. Shh. Me, me, me. Give me Shh. something. Me, me, me. Shh. God, he's such a obnoxious human being. Shh. It said won like a an Academy Award or something. Then <laughs> I would go. A bad. I would think that would be cool. But but you don't have to put together a TV show. And no, movies, like, yeah, you just show up. Yeah, so he really thinks that the only awards that he would accept are an Emmy for no his Bruce Springsteen thing or an Oscar, Oscar. for private part like that. He would think or blockbuster that he, video award. He would know oh, so, well, that's that's so that was just a joke. Doesn't doesn't Howard know that the Academy doesn't give science fiction awards? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the next two honorees, Dennis? Shirley Egar and Bob Levy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> for the, it's it's for the body of work. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the body yeah, of work. It's body of work. They paid the dues. <laughs> so, it's all for dues players, right? So then here's his visual of how it would go if he was doing the Mark Twain Award. Because here's all the people that went for... Um, yes, I see that. For what's-his-face? Who just Adam who, Sandler. Adam Sandler, thank you. Here's the people that came for Adam Sandler. So here's the people that Howard thinks would come for him. And and again, it's classically the way his 45-year-old mind thinks and not you know, like his 70 now. So he knows that these people probably wouldn't come out for him. He'd probably have to like ask Jimmy Kimmel and have Jimmy beg all the same crew of people yes. to come out for him. Yes, so yes. here we go. You know, Spot on. Kennedy Center honors would be disappointed in who I would bring. it will be like, well, we want to give you the Mark Twain Award. Who are you going to bring? I'd be like, well, how about my buddy, Dr. Lou, the ophthalmologist, and, <laughs> and Ralph? No non-celebrities. No way. And they'd be like, who? We can't build a show around that. Don't you know anybody? Mm, not really. Oh, such a regular guy. Wow. I got okay. Beetlejuice. Wow. Be good. Oh, you're such a regular guy. Keeping wow. your normie friends. You know. Hey. How about Wendy, Wendy, the slow adult or mom? That would be cool. I get the Mark Twain Award. I show up that night and... Ladies and gentlemen, here is Wendy, the slow adult, and her mother. These are the people he feels comfortable with, though. How many times has he done Letterman or or Jimmy or or Leno or something, and or whatever, and he has on Marianne from Brooklyn or Wendy right. the retard or you know, whores a, 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 or a high pitch Eric or whores or you know, whores. he has to have like this is what he really ultimately feels comfortable with. This is this is who Remember he is. And then Beatles. I Mine. See, look, Kennedy Center program aired last night on CNN and featured tributes from Adam Nobody Sandler's friends it, and collaborators, including <laughs> Ben Stiller, Conan and Brian, and David Spade. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me, I'd have, like, medicated Pete naked. No, you yeah. wouldn't. No, you star no, fucking no, like you always, though. No, you yeah. wouldn't. This is his way of diffusing the fact that nobody's ever giving him a money. You're absolutely money. right, Monique. Kimmel would be booking every he knows. You'd be star fucking as you always would. You're not doing anything with yep. whack pack or normies. <laughs> but he would want to because that's his comfort zone these but, are people that adore him and fawn over him so he thinks that that's that's what makes for good what, what not it, marcy what, howard what it really comes good down TV to though, in 1992 92 what it really comes down to it was on <clears throat> cnn no one saw it anyway so it doesn't matter do you guys remember when he did uh, five Saturday people Live, saw it. the weekend update he hid in his dressing room the entire night until it was time for him to do when he was promoting uh, private parts, why is he that? He went yeah. on Weekend Update, and he hid in his room the whole time. Because the whole why cast hated him because he was talking shit about the cast. Yeah, he hid. Oh, and he, he wanted on. to change things. He wanted yeah. it to be. He yes. wanted to yeah, bring but, in Jackie to write for Jackie him. Right? Well, that's right how much of a pussy he is. This rebel, rebel. He hid in his dressing room the entire time he was there. Because he couldn't face the fact that other people would be writing a show that he has he's a control freak he right. if he can't control the narrative and control every time he has ever been on a program he has had to control the entirety of plus, the narrative plus Vanity. he doesn't have a sense of humor so exactly. he can't laugh at himself so there's no way someone else well, who can write a joke from him. kevin nealon there's, 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 Come on. there's too yeah. much vanity tweaking for him to do Saturday Night Live. The hair no. stuff, he can't deal with makeup people, and especially anyone tinkering with that fucking scalp. That's why he really won't do it. It's all about the vanity. Oh, a thousand percent, I believe that every time he dressed as a woman, Ralph was the one who did like, yeah. his makeup, oh, his wig, and Ralph all that right. stuff. You know, Ralph nobody's allowed to touch him. Yes. <laughs> Nobody can touch him. That's right, Jeremy Spoon. All right, so that's it for that's it for our clips tonight. Yay! You know, he just I felt like he never ended the show. Like he never oh, really it kept on rolling on. He just kept going and going and Sal and all this other going shit. Back to Sal and his weird, weird shit he did like when he was a kid. All the weird was, Sal proclivities. It, just, and you said it right. It was like this is this is your life, Sal Wiki. I mean, this is yeah. That's what he did today, and I don't and, know and why. Is, it was at ten o'clock already. The thing is, Blobbin actually brought up, like, tried to mock him, and I'm like, you're, the, you're like, you're the last person that can mock Sal on being weird. You don't the want to the very last person. Ears, the, the, the very the last person. Cure cancer. I mean, come all right. So on. here we are. Cleaning out the computer. So inexplicably, John had sent me a whole bunch of Christine Governale versus Sal versus Howard. 
but it was too much when I thought too that much. originally we were going to do much. the 39 minutes worth of stupid gram, which I think we're just going to save for another night and we can just dig into it. Maybe we'll do something over the... You look like you're giving head to somebody over there, Dennis. No, I'm talking to my cat. <laughs> yeah. She's staring. Oh, it was She's really bizarre, just so you know. <laughs> She's staring at me gurgle, going, gurgle, too much. Gurgle. <laughs> Dennis, your Felipe <laughs> technique is very Sicilian. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so here's what I have, Johnny. I have Gwyn Beetle. I have Gwyn Nobu High School Lunch Table 1, 2, and 3. And then I have Stormy Daniels. So that's Did what he I'm... bring up Paltrow today in some capacity? So he, yes, did, he did bring up Gwyneth okay. Paltrow. They all felt bad for her. Okay, that's And why. they all decided that they, they were did. going to, you know, if, if they were her, they would have paid the $300,000 just to make it go away. But they all actually thought that... Um, uh, that she, you know, she was in the right here, you know, because it's Gwyneth Paltrow. Come on, that's so, right. she's always right. Her, uh, a Mercedes. So Gwyneth, weirdly enough, has been in the news lately because of the most bizarre stuff. Because you know, she clearly has an semblance of an eating disorder, and she was on some show with a guy who's actually her doctor. While she was on the show with him, she had an IV drip in her friggin' arm for the vitamins that she takes. She does mm. a drip basically every single day. I mean, she talked about yeah. she talked about hero. what her food intake is for a normal day, and I'm shocked that Howard hasn't brought this up as a point of contention with Beth. But she yeah, starts out the morning. Hero. That's her yeah. template for everything. So she does coffee in the morning, then she does her IV drip, then she normally has like bone broth for lunch, and then she has like some grilled vegetables or sautéed vegetables for dinner, and that's pretty much what she eats. Jesus and then she Christ. tried to come back and say, oh, you know, everybody's taking it out of context. You well, know, that's not what I eat all the time every day. That's not like my diet. And then she like takes this IV to clear out like the toxins in her body, and it's like, bitch, you literally eat 400 calories a day. What toxins could possibly be in your body? So she's a bit uh, of a the, That these would be people. the vagina candle. Yes, the yeah, vagina these, candle. Yes, 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 yes. That's what goop is. That's what these goop people. Is. These people actually take the fun of, of out of having money. I mean, literally, yeah. they do. They literally take the fun out of it. Yeah. I mean, well, she's a paradigm, Dennis, of nepo baby celebrity privilege. Yeah, Steven absolutely. Spielberg's your fucking godfather. Bruce Paltrow, Blythe, Blythe Danner. And she, Bruce, I, did you see Bill uh, Maher's joke the other night? He said, Her, "It's the whitest thing in the history." A skiing lawsuit in utah with gwyneth paltrow is there anything whiter than that uh, all those things no. combined there's nothing it's the whitest that. it's the whitest crime she, ever she did a halle berry uh with on the ski slopes pretty much it's literally white on white crime yes it really it's is white on white crime it's, it's, an, really it's an optometrist like who wanted model. a little bit of notoriety and it's gwyneth who said fuck no i'm not paying three hundred thousand dollars to some you know, piece of shit on the bunny slope, by the way, yes. the who banged slope. into her. So how fast could he have possibly been going? So, you know, it's just interesting when you come to Goop and you see what's new and what's going on and all oh. sorts of goodies, you know, you can take all sorts the of best pills. Of wellness. There's, uh, you know, essential oils, there's dildos and vibrators. I mean, Jesus Christ. you know, things... Things that interest her. So that's what you get on this. Um, look, you have Viva La Volva vibrator. I'm sure that's I'm what sure that's taken is... from the name of her ex husband's song. Uh, that's what pretty the amazing. What is that? Dun, dun, it's a dun, vibrator. Dun, 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 it's, it's a... Dun, 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 I'm trying to figure out where. How, wow. It's a that's... vulva. Silly. It's a vulva vibrator. What's wrong got... with you? <laughs> I understand that, but. I don't understand it. I'm looking right <laughs> I, I, at it. I understand it. what you say, but I look at that and go. I don't know how you place. I, I don't. I Never, don't. Well, I'm not figuring creative. that one out. There's a little gold nubbin right there. You do the I, math. I guess. Yep. The nubbin. <laughs> what the hell's how going on here? I masturbate to myself and Shakespeare in love with this thing. There you exactly. go. <laughs> Here's a seven-day that... detox for $195. Oh, dear Christ. Here's a morning skin glow super powder for $60, but only $55 with a subscription for a monthly basis. Goop, These are all goop like goop, high school jeans. My body isn't responding to diet and exercise the way it used to. Yeah. So this is, there's a, oh my God. There's Good a cult Lord. around this. Wait, let's see if we could. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. <laughs> two in the, what is it? Two in the stink, one in the pink? Yeah. <laughs> no, one in the what? pink, two in the stink. <laughs> you, you got the, yeah, you got the math wrong there, sister. I know, but I'm doing <laughs> it according stink, to the, the stupid. Uh, the, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Holy Christ. What the hell? She's oh got my a lot God. of vibrators. Jesus Christ. This one looks like a cute mint um 
Um, Ooh, ca cactus. cactus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to open this uh, cerveza. Give me that thing. Hold on. Exactly. Look, look at this. This is a vibrator necklace for those sure, quickies in the bathroom at work. Oh, dear Christ. Oh, then you put it around your neck? Ew. What's <laughs> <laughs> that smell? Ew. <laughs> 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 Be popular. Was Chris <laughs> Martin's nickname for a vagina Coldplay? Or is that the name of his band? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh the, my! The mini. God, look at all the vibrators. This is like shocking to me. I've not seen this. I've not been oy on vey. here in a while. Oy, 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 oy vey. That what is that? Sam's Club. This the is electrical dot. stimulation pads designed the to help dots. temporarily reveal muscles and pain. Not to Jesus. be confused with this vibrator or this vibrator or this vibrator, vibrator or, or that, this vibrator. Well, the thumper. The <laughs> thumper. Good or lord! Is that what Beefus uses? The thumper. Could be. Could be. Could be. Her bedroom sounds like there's someone always mowing the lawn in there. <laughs> yes. I saw that thing oh in the middle God. of the Dollar Tree. Oof. Oh, Goop Home has a cookware set for Oh, there's a cookware oh, set. See? So you... Sure. You know what sure. I don't see? She, oh, she missed eggs. the whole market. There's no butt plugs on here. No, so. you're missing out on the eggs. Okay, sixty-six dollars oh. made exclusively for Goop. Egg. Yoni eggs oh. harness the power of energy work, crystal healing, the and a Kegel-like physical practice. In Insert the, the egg into your vagina, and feel the. Hold on, let me get there. The and butt. feel the connection with your body by squeezing and releasing the egg. So I guess there's, the there's no returns on this. There's no returns. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't like the all, egg. It was, all sales it was, final. It was feeling a little chilly in there. <laughs> I, I want to feel the sun. <laughs> no <laughs> pet can get people to it. Oh Mike my. McKenna, that's good weed whacking. That's very good. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, so, so this is this is what goes on at Goop, okay? It is that. literally a showcase for vibrators, uh, a little, you know, sure. uh, Dr. Oz voodoo, and and shit like this. That's who she is. Is that, is that how you learned the ping pong trick? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, with the yes. egg. You got the, you got the warm the up eggs. with the egg. Yes. Yeah. I, I, hear so, yeah. Gwen, I hear that Gwyneth was so obnoxious that Harvey Weinstein had to kick her out after he took it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you know, this. That, leather that, varsity jacket is only $1,500. Ooh, the, that's uh, good. That, ooh. that egg is just it's like it. when the pitchers take that, um, take the, so uh, the, that, that, the uh, bean bag and they yeah. warm up. That's the same way. Yes. <laughs> Exactly the same. Sure, so this why is, not? This is Gwen. But you know what? This is what She's laughing at. all the way to the bank. Oh my God! Of course she is. She's you know what it is? As much as we're goofing on this, the 90s. it's because it's Goop is is ching, sort of ching. like a cult. It really is. There's a cult. Of Goop. We don't have a cult. I know. Well, we hey, do well, have a. Do you guys buy like a, like eggs that you stick in your butt from us? No, Answer I don't think that that's some. I don't think that there's a market for that on our site. What do you think? Cousin Chips is going to be like our spokesperson for it. That'd be perfect. So what do we got here? What is Gwyn we got those Beetle? Calgary, those are Calgary eggs coming up. We can just stick something that vibrates in them and so on. You know how fast that would melt, silly? Do you not even know how eggs no, and vaginas I, work? No, do I care? No refunds. Okay. Um, John. Yeah. Gwyn Beetle. Sugar. What is that? These are Howard's real thoughts on Gwyneth Paltrow before he was invited to sit at the cool kids lunch table uh, pre having her on the show when he was trying to get her attention for years and years and years. Did and, he used to uh, call all kinds of nasty stuff? Yeah, yeah, this is just one of them. So they did Beetlejuice. They did a uh, – it was actually, actually kind of funny. They did an inside the actor studio doing cut-ups of Beetlejuice's voice. And so it segued into Howard hating Gwyneth Paltrow because she just watched her on inside the actor studio, and she's just as stupid as Beetlejuice is. Okay, here we go. What profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Me? I just sit around the house and drink beer all day long. That's a lot of things you could be if you wanted to. When he made it a lot, little louder. That's an easy job I could get myself. You know? What profession would you not like to participate in? I like that garbage trucks, or uh, paint jobs, or uh, truck loads, or all that. Shit. If you finally, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Well, God, I tell you, you got a job, you do it. It don't make a difference. Did you take care of yourself? What the hell are we listening to? Let's just let, I have let no it go. Idea. Inside the studio. Hey, get a job. Hey, do what you have to do. <laughs> I um. 
you know, I saw the Gwyneth Paltrow interview, and I got to tell you, Beetle comes across much more intelligent. <laughs> Honest to God. The questionnaire created by my hero, Bon Vodano. Who is that? <laughs> anytime. Anytime you can shot her. Than... Anytime. Yeah. All right. So let's listen. Gwyneth Nobu High School Lunch Table. One so Chris, Chris Rock. Rock is on Howard's show, and he's it was one of my favorite stories is when he goes to Nobu and he's trying to get the attention. This is literally like high school with money lunch table. And he's trying to get the attention of Ben Affleck, uh, Chris Rock. This is a Harvey Weinstein table, by the way. This is a Miramax table. Um, it's like Paltrow, Affleck, uh, Chris Rock, and Hayes is there. Cheryl Crow is there, and this is Howard getting dissed by Gwyneth Paltrow at this Nobu table. Okay. And I was I was showing uh, Chris uh, all my gadgets in my apartment because I yes. got that tw- two hundred inch screen. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, we watched. What did we watch? We watched the yeah. game. Yeah, we were what, being black. Talk, talked about Chris Sam. Had to put on he bas- talk, talked Chris about Sam. Had to put on basketball. No. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin called me and I. He says, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm sitting here watching the L.A. Lakers." Uh-huh. So he went, "Oh, I'm going to come over. I have Chris Rock. He'll enjoy that." So <laughs> So were Rick Rubin friendly with Howard Stern? This is like yeah, very confusing. Yeah, this is back in the... Remember he had the Rick Rubin connection all the way through? Yeah, his that's kind of weird. I don't like that Rick Rubin liked him. I don't either. Because I like Rick Rubin. I think he's a genius. Well, I don't Rick like Rubin that he Rick Rubin doesn't liked... like him anymore, so... <laughs> that... Night, we go to uh, Nobu next door, me and a bunch of people. Yeah. And Howard's entourage. My entourage. And who's sitting there at a table, an A-list table, if I ever saw one? It's Chris Rock, his wife. And let's see, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. How'd you end up with these folks? Wow. Who else was there? Ben Affleck, I think I heard. Yeah. I didn't recognize him. You didn't uh, know who else was at the table? I don't know who he looks like. We bumped into each other at a play, actually. What play? Who else was at that table? Like Anne Hayes and Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow. It was like an A list table. Well, all I know is I went over and said hello to Chris. Uh huh. And the whole table silent. No one would say hello to me. Mm. Did Chris Cheryl <laughs> Crow even bombed um, um, uh, me out, and I'm friends with her. Right, we know Cheryl. You voted for her, for God's sake. She totally no. put her nose up in the air. I think they were all afraid because Gwyneth Paltrow hates me because I, I say she's a oh, skinny you witch. You know what the funny thing was? Yeah. Skinny witch. Yeah, she's skinny witch. Skinny witch. This is what they're really like. This is what he really thinks of her. I love it. Oh, you witch. know what the funny thing was? Yeah. So you was. Yeah. So you leave, right? Right. Yeah. Everybody starts talking about you. And I'm like, oh, come on, guys. The guy's like right over there. Look, show a little discretion. They go, Fa Howard Stern? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Discretion? <laughs> Stop bad-mouthing the guy. Just Chris trying to I forgot who you? you were. Really? Yeah, I'm just you thinking just the guy. You just thought I was a nice guy. Just some guy. I, I might. Just some six foot nine ghoul. Oh, he says people. that. He says you're not. He's, he basically implies you're way more than six five. Is what we always say. This right. This goblin ghoul Frankenstein skulking over, over here. Right. <laughs> hey, might be over yeah, help me out with something though. Am I that bad a person? Yes. But no, I you're guess. nice to me, but there's a. Um, <laughs> what do I? What do I do? That's I've so never bad. seen a white man hate it so much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but why? Oh. People. Well, yeah, celebrities hate me because I don't kiss their ass. Yeah. 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 Yes. I guess that's it. Because uh, I mean, I, I don't mean, play that game. Gwyneth Paltrow's never been in a hit movie, and I don't know yes, what everyone's saying. What is it? Shakespeare in Love. Yeah, big deal. Made amazing. twenty-four million dollars. A hundred million dollars. Wait. Wait a minute, but Chris doesn't try to introduce. <laughs> she, I mean, she usually, she be- a best she actress. The table, don't you She's a fine actress. The Shut up, Robin. No, Chris didn't wow. introduce me to anybody. Uh, he knew better. He knew right away. I'm like the. It's amazing. I play two minute long clips. You guys are dead fucking silent. I play 20 oh, second clips already. and you guys can't shut the fuck up. Can you just, can you help me understand that, please? Just, just this curious. Is really, this is when the show is good. Just it's curious. Well, well, coming over to the white table. He is Howard Stern. He, he knows him or he doesn't. No, no, if maybe I, at this point. they've never been personally introduced. No. Come on, Chris. They were kind of... Like, Everybody was shaking. Wow. It was obvious that he shouldn't introduce you to the rest it was of like, the Yeah, it was like Darth Vader walked into the room. Yeah, it was really... Yeah, I like and it. And Howard's like a big freak. He's like... <laughs> a freak. He's like seven feet tall. He walks in the place. Long hair, all Long bunched hair. over like a money lender. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. I'm a freak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he he walks can, in a room. I never realized that about Howard. Do I look odd? When you walk in a room, I you look really odd. walk. I mean, people really go. They notice me. Yeah. But they, they would notice you even if you weren't. They have a radio show. Right, Because you're right. just a tall. My whole life, people stared at me like <laughs> Frankenstein. Like, Ugh. I was just the same. Right. It was weird. It was a weird. <laughs> like a hunched over money lender. Yep. Money, yep. That's pretty much. That sums it up, doesn't it? You know who's writing for him? Nose for two. Jackie. That's not Jackie. Yeah. That's right out of Jackie. That's, that's, that's right, right out of a Jackie book. playbook. Absolutely. Yep. All right, last one. Here we go. 
Left. Well, what did they say about him, Chris? Yeah, tell okay, me. Just, it's all right. You're not hurt my feelings. Nothing. Come on. Just like, on. you know, the normal, he's an asshole. Right. <laughs> like Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> said that? No, I, I won't say Gwyneth, Gwyneth said that. But yeah, that was, she that did. Was, that was the feel of the table. Really? Yeah. Who, like, was there anybody who liked Even like Cheryl Crow says I'm an ass, right? Wow. Just, just me. Just you. <laughs> just me. You know, because Cheryl Crow. No, actually, Crow, I think Cheryl was cool. Probably not. Just me. Man, wow. they were all ganging up on And him. I was just, like, happy to, you know... Happy, happy to see anybody. Hey, I all right, you were eating a good know. meal, and that was it. Yeah. But there was no question that he... I mean, you weren't joining wow. the table. That was... Not yeah, no one... Did you see what L.A. City News wrote? Rick Rubin had a book come out recently. He did a million podcasts, but he didn't do Howard. Wow. wow. Yeah, there's, there's a Zoss raping connection with uh, Rick Rubin, certainly, at the time. I forget who said that up in the chat. That's right. So curious that he didn't do anything with her. <laughs> hey, slid over. Next time, can you take a small tape recorder with you? I'd love to hear it. It's like a focus group. Wow. I, I, why do I like that they hate me? Why do I? You don't like that they he hate doesn't you, like you him. silly, yeah, silly no. old man. He wants to be at that table so bad. So desperately. No, that's just the really. foreshadowing. They're See, all dressed in I their mean, cute little cheerleader outfits years. and... Everybody else yeah, in their I'm, football. I'm visualizing, though, that that giant pelican kind of looming over, over them like the harbinger oh, of death. Oh, my oh, right? God. Well, the funny all thing is, too. He's a sickle. He's a sickle. Yeah. This Grim Reaper. We, uh, he's also <laughs> at least 10 years older than everybody else at the table, yep, which is kind of funny. Least. So you're kissing ass on these, like, kids kind of to him. Like, they don't. Yeah. Why kinda, would yes. you even be in their hemisphere? He's the old dude at the club. Yes, yeah. yes, that's who he is. But you know what? He's not even the cool old dude. No. Because if, if Jack Nicholson came over to your table, you would oh, happily him. welcome him in. Have a seat. Jack's here. You know what I mean? Robert De Niro comes to your table. Happily welcome him in. Howard Stern, not so much. So, yeah, you can be old, but you can be cool. But Howard's not cool. That's he's just so old. He never was. The old guy at the and he burned the so club. many bridges by being yeah. such a jealous douchebag. That he didn't realize it would come back to like bite him in the ass. And That's this is why you can't get a Kennedy Center Award. Because yeah. nobody will fucking come out and vouch for you. Yep. Well, you know, and that's, hey, he's just getting things done. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. well, this is the, but this is ends up being the whole redemption tour from 2013 till now of trying to unwrite all his previous 30 years of radio so he can actually be well, at got the cool rich. kids' table. And they still hate him. And they it's, still it's, absolutely it's hate him. It's eerie foreshadowing of what he was trying to do all these years. Yeah. This is just but, capitalized in one... Uh, G. No Canada, did you go, know man. G. Canada at one time when Wendy was on the show oh. and I was living on the west side and I was walking uh, home from work oh. and I'm walking down 8th Avenue and I saw Wendy and her mother and they were oh. both tremendous people and I... I I can smell. I could smell them, and oh. they were. And both of them had on like these gross. Like her mother had on like one of those Moo-moo. Moo-moo house dresses. Oh, you okay. know. And oh. Wendy had on like a a really big like tent uh, top with like a pair of leggings and like dirty sneakers, and both oh. of them kind of oh. walked down the block like you know wildebeest going towards like the shuffling. the water yeah. just shuffling. <laughs> and um oh. and they smell and i i remember i recorded it at the time and i probably posted it at dog shed at the time oh, and i was like just saw wendy and her mom and i went past them and i said wendy i really enjoyed you on the stern show today and she was like thank you you know and um and they oh. were very 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 as as disturbing as you think wendy might be it is triply Triply worse than you can imagine. Honestly, it really is. They're Couldn't just sell that of... footage to TMZ, Monique. <laughs> like that. You're like, you're like Eminem for 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I'm Eminem <laughs> triple. Right. Eminem would like to be you. <laughs> and can I tell you something? Yeah, What's right. weird about it too is is that yeah, Eminem uh, would like to be you. I'm not right, sure. Right. Care or not. I don't think I do care. Yes, you do. But it is odd because when I meet these people individually, they <laughs> kiss my ass. Oh yeah. They tell me that they're huge fans and they they love they me. All the time. They listen all the time. It's really weird. But then they, they have get to a, be in a group to hate you. You know what it's like. You know how like. Like, all yeah, Hollywood true. celebrities will never support a Republican. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, I'm the Republican. Yeah. Like, they all just gang up on me. They right. say nice things about everybody but you. Yeah, I'm the one guy they won't say nice stuff about. Yeah. But Cheryl Crow is in here singing to you. No, no, no Cheryl, Cheryl Crow likes you, I think. Mm. But she didn't try to do anything either. <laughs> nah, she, she, you know what? She's two-faced. Well, and again, you know, someone if Howard hears the... You know, just admit it. Nobody likes you. 
Nobody wants you at their table. The only reason they've okay. even indulged you lately is because of Jimmy Kimmel. So, and that's the only yeah. reason that you're still friends with Jimmy is because you know that that is your only golden can, ticket. Can you fathom Allie Wentworth and George Snuffleupagus? Like what the conversations are with them? But and Allie, I, is, Allie is one of those classic sycophantic freaks who yeah, know, loves but... having friends that are prettier than her. So she likes the best thing because she's yeah yeah that's good but could you but imagine for that, at a certain yeah, point you get tired you bringing up deep talking points in current events and going on you got to throw it at them and they give you nothing back and like i can't believe how stupid she is could you imagine being engaged with them for three hours how your brain would rot as you try to have stimulating repartee no crazy robin is this true Robin admitted that she uses towels to wipe herself after her bowel movements and place it in a bag and said, my yes, help she did. washes them. That's right. This is good this recall, is crazy Robin. Ugh. Good, good recall. But now just it, she just has a bag now. So it's okay. Uh, Mo, <laughs> any other whack pack chance uh, meetings? Not really. Who did I used to run into all the time? So, uh, Fred, the elephant boy I ran into one time and he smelled, he smelled Awful. I mean, right. just I can't imagine him smelling good. Horrible. And then one time, I was hanging out at the bar with Grillo, and we were talking to I can't even remember his name. He's just a peripheral medicated Pete backpacker. Um, no, I never met him. No, uh, this guy was you, like kind of retarded, and he thought he was like a comedian. He thought he was funny. Adam, slow Adam. Slow Adam. No, not slow Adam. What's the, the other one? The other one. He's a little the bit older one. than Slow Adam. Yeah, yeah. I the can't other remember. One. It doesn't even matter. Honestly. It doesn't matter. It it, do, it doesn't matter. But um, other than that, I never ran into. Oh wait, Elliot, you met Elliot often. Oh, I was yeah, in the same place. <laughs> he was a little bit on the scary side. He was. He used to sweat profusely, and all that makeup he wears would like run down his face. I mean, he looked like a tra like a tragic. Um, Edward Munch kind of uh, figure, you know. He's a, he's a Batman kind of villain. Him. He's a real life Batman. He really is. Oh, he's absolutely, very, is. very, very scary yep. in person. Like he really scared me. I wish that Grillo still had the video of when I was in the room with him. They were recording. Oh, I bet you actually somebody has this recording. They were recording, and I was saying to Elliot that I, literally I'm trying to tell Elliot that he's got to get his shit together. I'm like, Elliot, if you want what? this to be a something, you really have to, like, you know, make a point of focusing on it. You can't be, like, you know, a half hour late when somebody's recording you and, and wants to hear what you have to say. I love you giving tough love to, and off revenge. Oh. I love you giving tough love oh. to Elliot. And off. the funny thing about it is that Elliot can't look you in the eyes. Like, he can't. Yeah. You know, he's one of those. He, he, yeah, like he definitely Asperger's has like Asperger's. Like, like yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. look you in the eye. He has to look away. He looks to the side, looks anywhere but like at you. <laughs> and he would just stand there with like his mouth agape. Yeah. Listening to speech impediment man. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, oh, that's was. yes, he was on the show. Yes, 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 yes. He is very sweet. He is a very sweet guy. He gave me his phone number and told me to call him. He would definitely come on the show. But, Cold you know, Feinberg. we've been very anti um, That's great reference. whack packers. All that right, must be so, a long conversation on the phone. Like oh, my God. So we're going to end the show with two clips that uh, we Stormy have here Daniel. about Stormy Daniels. So what is this? So we were talking about Stormy Daniels, and you guys brought up Wendy the Retard. And the reason <laughs> Stormy Daniels, of course, has been asked to do this show, she's turned it down for very noble reasons, I might add, exploiting the uh, mentally handicapped. And um, she goes on to say point? why, and they go on to say what the current state of the show. And this is some Wigger video podcast. I think it's fairly big. I couldn't believe how many people. It's a watch neck it. tattoo. Yeah. Jesus. What is it? It's like some. So it's some like Wigger glorified Wigger podcast. I don't. I forget, baller or something or other. This guy. Mm. And I just it came up in my feed like last year, and I've always been meaning to crowbar this onto the show, and I finally got a reason. Is it Adam Twenty Two? Tone Cat wants to know. That might be is it jumper. Adam okay, yeah, that's it. Jumper. That's it. That's it. That's right, it. Let's find jumper. Out. Here we go. That's it. I don't know. And if I feel like I was probably watching you on Howard Stern when I was like a young teenager. Never been on Howard. You never Stern. went on there. I always refused. See, that's one of those things that you like misremember, like. No, I never like did it. Did. I got asked all the time, and I always said no. Why? You thought he was disrespectful? Yeah, I did. Really? Yeah. But all your peers were doing it. So? I like to be different. <laughs> in <laughs> what, case you haven't noticed. What was he doing in particular <laughs> that you thought? She looks very different in person-ish. Like yeah. She doesn't need Pictured makeup. Her. She's good-looking broad. She doesn't need you know, the natural. She's, she's a perfect Howard dress. Jenna Jameson doppelganger for Howard. 
Isn't she like the perfect blonde, the homosexual doing the impression of a heterosexual to have on? She totally fits his uh, female kind of yeah. criteria. But it is a he... delicious Mandela effect of not thinking that she was yeah. on the show. That was so offensive. Was. I always thought Howard kind of like glorified porn stars in a way um, that... You know what he did? It was one particular show that rubbed me the wrong way where he was. Uh, there was a girl on that was mentally... Like uh, a lot of that stuff does look a little weird in retrospect. Huh? Yeah, like he was making fun of a girl that was like mentally handicapped, and I don't know. And it's funny because the girl like later went on and personally pissed me off. But it's just uh, I don't know. Do you? I'm I used with to work her. with handicapped kids, and it just rubbed me the uh, wrong way. So did I. I, do you think that the queef contest didn't age well? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Last clip. I swear to God, it's 11:09. We got to go. Oh so my hang God. On. I have to watch The Bachelor. Jesus. I got to go. Who am I, Joe on. Corson? That was the Howard Stern was able to get away with stuff on the radio 20, 30 years ago that me, we can't get away with now. No I way. feel like I could get demonetized on this segment of the podcast just for talking about the concept of it, never mind a girl actually doing it. Right. I don't know how he got people to do some of the stuff he got mm. them to do, like fl girls flushing their head in the toilet. Like, right. I don't understand how he got away with the way that he used to talk to girls in general because I was watching him with Jenna Jameson on an old ass episode recently and he's basically just saying like, oh my God, I want to fuck you so bad. Like, he's, yeah, he's just telling her straight. It's like the things I would do to you. I'm trying it's to so picture in my head point, if right? I were to interview any woman, adult entertainer or otherwise and say anything even close to that. I'm like, yeah, I there's no way. No way! How the hell did he get away with just being so horny on camera? I don't know. It's before women got uh, confident spines. enough to Uppity. say something, I no, guess, sorry. right? See, I was, this is where I get in trouble for no, like... But that... You know what it is, truly? It's that Howard was like a lecherous, lecherous right. man. Yeah, exactly. Like that disgusting guy I worked with in the Garmin Center. Ed Levitt. Was... He was like the that... Ed Levitt of like... Uh, Radio. Yeah, I mean, it was all for it was all for shock value because he's just a closeted, he's just a closeted little guy from Long Island trying too hard is. to look at her, right? going over the top. Mm -hmm. of, you realize it, right? Emma, the Emma Button thing is real. Monique, that you don't have to go any further with that. That's as good. Oh, I'm not. I, I already closed it out. <laughs> I already closed it up because I'm already i already burned bright and faded fast. Right I now. love that Christine Governale. Uh, medley but the lat the clip the last one that's a phenomenal she goes after ralph and how ha uh, ralph dressing howard for letterman is such a good clip but okay save but it, it's save 11 it, save 11 it. no 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 save it i'm not saying play it now i'm just saying that's my favorite one out of the floor all right so peeps thank you so much dennis has to wake up early because he's got shit to do and you know he's got a he's, he's got stuff to do and, you know, I'm going to stay up and watch the finale of The Bachelor. Don't anybody tell me what happened. <laughs> and so that she dumps him. <laughs> Shut up. Is that the so, movie with Artie and Chris O'Donnell? Or Yes, that's, that's exactly okay. what that is. That's exactly what that is. All right. So, guys, thank you so much. Xavier already bailed on us, so that's okay. He, he had enough. And, um, yeah, that's it. we've had enough candle for tonight. No By the way, <laughs> I cannot find that show. If anybody we'll in my we'll uh, thread here can find it, it's from September of last year. I didn't look, but I'll find it, believe okay, me. Okay, we need to find that show because we need to archive it somewhere so that we can have it. And then that stupid Graham will definitely do, like, as a little sideshow one night just for, like, an hour yes. or so. And uh, we'll do that. Okay. Wait, so one last thing more. What? What? The whole Back show on. is gone. Like the whole, that whole show is gone. Gone. Our version of it. So you can't even like record it off the show to get the clip from out the show. With oh, the I don't know. I don't know if he That's ever. another way to do it. I think he may have deleted it completely, but I don't know. So you'd have to find it. I think I texted you the date of that show. Okay. I got to okay. go. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at RadioGunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.